Hello and welcome to Blades in the Dark. This is our first episode. Uh, we are going to try out the possibility of playing this game. Now, I should say that before I introduce everyone, that we have been playtesting this game for at least seven or eight sessions, I want to say. Maybe more, but somewhere in that range. Um, I picked this book up for myself for Christmas. So since December. So it's been almost six months of me reading this book repeatedly, religiously, and then watching countless videos on YouTube and countless actual plays to get into this game. And the reason why is because I was very much interested in the genre and the mechanics, because the mechanics are very different. If you're used to something like D&D, this is a very different game mechanically. Uh, it's much more of a narrative, interactive, kind of cooperative, conversational game where the players really decide what's going to happen, truly. Um, so we're still learning, despite all of our play tests, we're still learning. But let me go around the table and introduce the people who have been patiently play testing this with me and, uh, and who are going to be part of the cast of this show. So on my left, uh, we'll start with you, Philip. All right, hello, my name is Phil. I am playing Paul Blackstone, the Accuracy Leech. The Leech, yes. All right, James. I'm James, I will be playing Brooks Columbo, also known as The Crow, Blackstone, and Accuracy Slide. Mm-hmm, Shannon. Hi, I'm Shannon, I am playing Alex O'Reilly, an ex Akros detective turned spider. Mm-hmm. All right, and then across the table, we'll go to you, Lucas. Hi, I'm playing Castle and Ron, or known as Demon Blackstone, and I'm playing the Scovlin Cutter. Mm -hmm. Max? Max, I'm playing Arvis Claremont, a.k.a. Flint Blackstone, uh, the Hound. All right, and John? I am John. I will be playing Cobb, like the corn, Blackstone, and I'm an Akarosi Lurk. All right, so um, those, those descriptions, Akarosi and Scovlin, uh, kind of des describe the ethnic background of the characters, and then the, the other descriptive uh, elements are kind of like the, the class or the profession, if you're more familiar with D&D. So what this basically means is that each one of these players kind of has like a specialty, and there are some overlapping you know, skills and abilities and whatnot. But um, the way that this weird game works is that you kind of have like a narrative component where all these different characters get to kind of do things, but you also have their their actual crew, which is, is like their gang uh, or their criminal organization. And the crew itself has its own character sheet, basically. And it, it has its own properties. Now, you guys are a crew of bravos, which are basically uh, rough and tumble kind of um, gangsters. Smash and grab, muscle, thugs, that kind of stuff. And through our Many, many um, playtest adventures. You guys have gotten into quite a few um, interesting situations. You've, you've done some heists that have worked out pretty well, and then some that did not work out too well. So we have lots of uh, backstories to draw from. So, uh, but the, because of the nature of this game, the way that, that we're going to play this, is you guys have gotten to a point after playing all these different um, test scenarios and heists and downtimes, you are now at a point where your crew would like to acquire additional turf, right? So at our last play test session, um, it was decided that you were ready to pursue turf. So your crew is looking at pursuing um, a new acquisition of turf in your hunting grounds, which is the night market. Now, the night market is um, an area in Dustfall uh, where the, the train that comes from the Deathlands into Dustfall comes there. So it's kind of a high trade area. Um, you do have some advantage having Night Market as your hunting grounds. Uh, it is a little bit easier to acquire an asset of any kind, but you also take stress for acquiring that asset. Um, because there's a lot of competing elements and factions. So, speaking of the faction game, you guys have not yet informed me whose turf you decided to go for, because 
we were we were discussing options. You guys have some reputation pluses and minuses with um, some of the other factions. So let's have an open discussion about this. What what do you guys like in looking at your previous adventures? Um, who do you think whose turf do you think you want to go for? Okay. Do we, so do we want to hunt down the <coughs> ghost people? Yes, the weeping lady. I assume that's what the occult gang was called that we were probably gonna focus on. But uh, other than that, we do need to focus on the main gangs that we do have. We need to continue our connection with the uh, the big ones that we've been working for, and then the Wongs, which I feel like we should get on better terms with because they seem like a pretty powerful gang around these sorts. All okay. right, Max. What uh, in looking at your your reputation? With the different uh, factions, um, who do you think? Who who are you kind of thinking of taking on? Um, well, I do remember saying that that occult gang, the Weeping Lady. We were going to try to focus on them because they seemed like a wouldn't they like a smaller gang comparatively? So yeah, they are the same tier as you guys. So okay. they're not they're not going to be. Um, you're, you're not taking on a massive burden yeah. uh, trying to steal turf from them. Yeah, no, basically, I just don't think we should really go after the Wands right now. We're, no, we, we've already had a successful heist against them. So you mentioned yeah. the Wongs. Who, who, tell us a little bit about that adventure. How did that go? Um, well, I'm pretty sure you two got in there and basically threatened the person running that, uh, I forget what it was. was it, it was like a Gambling. tavern brothel. Gambling. Yeah, Gambling. that thing. And, oh, right, wait, right, right. Wait, didn't, at the end of that, didn't I see... Some like I think he was like a you said like a fat guy who was like staring us down as we were running away from mm -hmm. the scene. It, it was a more descript fat guy than yeah, that, I mean, like uh, as in like the sumo wrestler. Yeah, no, six sort of foot fat. one Arabian man, sumo build, um, shaved head, mob based witness. I think that's what I have written down. I'm not sure. Yeah. We we can assume he's at least a powerful figure within yeah. the Wong. Gang. So just keep that in mind. They might be looking for. How was that brief? Let's briefly summarize what happened there, because you guys went to a specific place. Does anybody remember where that the heist Jade took place? The Jade Dragon was the Jade Dragon. The Jade Dragon, and and you, uh, who were you supposed to intimidate? The lady in charge. Who we well, it, they it, they went by a different name, but I didn't write it down. Yeah, wasn't it like the. I don't know. Was it, it was like Miss, it Mr. Mr. Something. Mm -hmm. it, was a, it was a woman, though, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, but yes. that was their name. Mm -hmm. Good, good. And then, and then, how did that work? How did that intimidation? I just, I just beat down a lot of guards. Okay, so a quick summary distracted. of yeah. the events is: I got at least three of us in. One of us was using some form of uh, mist self to Who's move there? in. It was yeah, uh, mist form. Ah. Uh, you, uh, Lucas, drank a rage potion, which sent him into a flying rage and was able to draw in all the guards' attention for uh, us to e easily sneak into the room where we can assume our person was that we needed to uh, threaten. Mm -hmm. And we got in, we woke her up, we threatened her. I didn't take, we didn't take as much gold as we needed since we only needed to take as much per tithe. And then threatened her that if she didn't pay the tithe more, this would continue to happen. So, and uh, do you guys remember on whose behalf you conducted the lamp blacks? Lamp blacks. Yes. The lamp blacks. Now the lamp blacks are a, a slightly higher tier um, than you guys are. So you you working for them as a crew of bravos is um, w benefited you, right? Because now you have a positive reputation with the lamp blacks. Right. But of course, there is a, a negative reputation with the Wongs, who you found out were actually the, the newer gang who has come to Duskfall. Uh, that's the gang who is basically backing the Jade Dragon. So, good. I have to add something. Uh, let's not do anything with the Severosi Consulate. I have a minus two with them. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Noted. Fantastic. Noted. Awesome. Right, because you went on some murders. Was it the no, no, assault that was spree? The, that was, no, that was a different that was oh, the the power <laughs> power <laughs> lifting that was competition. Power while no, while we're discussing past heists, you know, to give our audience a little bit of the background that we did off camera during all the numerous playtests, James, what's uh, what's one of the other factions that you have negative 
um, reputation with, and, and, and how did that come to be? Let's tell another heist story. That would be the, there was a couple going back to the very beginning. Uh -huh. We have the, oh, what was it? I think I have it written down. Uh, um, there was the washbucklers. The washbucklers, that's right. Um, the boat faring um, thieves that stole, stu that stole stuff in and out of the night market and just moved it by waterway to their was den. Um, where who, we may or may not have they're fine, um, <laughs> but we ended that ended up going with we ended up taking we had we got word that they were, they had landed a score of something way out of their league. Now the I, I remember the Washbucklers not being exactly very powerful. They're they were very, very low tier, right? Yeah, and they had come across a, a shipment that was way out of their league, and so we set up to intercept. And after we had dealt with them. <laughs> a couple died. We only a couple, most a few, just just a few. Side note: for those who don't know, in Duskfall, when somebody dies, a bell tolls, literally, and that bell signifies the location of where that person died, so that the spirit wardens can come get the corpse and take it back to the crematorium before the spirit escapes, because spirits and spirit energy are a big deal in this world. Um, and then after that, we came into the possession of some long rifle barrels, I believe, that were used by the wardens. Mm -hmm. That was like the guard, Imperial Guard. Yes. Yeah. Th those were intended to be um, for arming the Imperial Guard, which right. is a whole boatload of tiers higher than you guys. <laughs> so the one. Washbuckler, um, that, that heist went down pretty much in your favor. Yes. Yes. Okay. What else? We can't. We uh, well, definitely can't forget the uh, the shifty fuckers. Oh yes, of we course. can't forget. <laughs> that. I was gonna say those guys. Yeah. Yes. It's now unforgettable. That is a faction that you guys had some interaction with, uh, based on uh, them having Oops. a vice den, right? That you guys were. Uh, was it a vice den and a brothel? I think it was. It was. A it was, it was a I thought it was a tavern. Gambling. It was a tavern, tavern fronting den. a gambling den, and I believe there was a brothel upstairs. Hmm. If I remember yes, correctly. Yes, yes. Yeah. So that is a faction that was actually involved in some of the illicit flesh trade. So the right. the founders of the Shifty Fuckers were literally former pimps and prostitutes, male and female, who decided to band together to form their own gang, and had done so pretty effectively. Now you guys, um, I can't remember if that's just some some group that you took on on your own, or if yeah. there was another faction that you were working I, for. No, we were just working for ourselves. And yeah, we ourselves. wanted to rob something. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, we robbed the bank. We hit the, the back, and, and we, we hit the vault with like the the tickets oh, for the oh, money. Yes, Not hit the vault, mm -hmm. and then More like tore off. <laughs> he tore, tore off the off door. The, wall. <laughs> the door, I mean. And then and I almost smoked out a grandma. Oh no! Under the floorboard. She's fine. It's I fine. did something bad too, but we don't talk about that. So why, why don't we talk about it? You, no, no, you, no, you, no, no, no. How is? I insist. I insist. With a bomb? No. Hmm. Yeah, there were that that <laughs> gig um, did attract some attention. You guys have. So you have some, some negative rep with the shifties. Um, and, and maybe you might have gotten on the radar with the blue coats for that, but you're yeah. not you're not um a hundred percent sure how that's panning out. It wasn't my fault. I do think I do think we were gonna with that heist, I think we were gonna end up being it would not being as bad. I think we had like I think we had some like key little points that would have helped some stuff. And then a couple explosives may have been tripped. No, no, just one. But it wasn't my fault. It, you threw the grenade into the and back room, the pin. dude. <laughs> now you failed Assuming. to manufacture effectively. To be fair, we did not hear any bells toll. I think. No, yeah, we, we did. We did. No, we did. Oh, we did. I think as you guys were leaving, there were there were some bells that tolled. Yeah. But not Man. as many as the people in the room. You know, yeah, now that time. we uh, <laughs> now that we go over how many uh, heists we've had, we have a lot of negative reputation, don't we? Uh, we're pretty terrible people. We're pretty terrible people. Let's awesome. continue to be that. fair, we're a smash and grab group. That's kind of what happens. And you want to know what I say? I think we should make that negative reputation have one more name on that list. What about that vampire that tried to grab me? Oh, 
The oh. train, the great yeah, train the heist. Train oh my heist. god. I, oh, I totally. That was, I think that was the. How can we figure it out? Right here? You guys, yeah, you was, guys um, were, were hired to go and investigate what happened to some missing cargo cars. Yeah, that was like our first we that found that Jumafi. it was, it was Jumafi, tubs yeah. of human stew, but it was vampires. Yeah, and there was like things in it, and they tried vampires. To, yeah, yes. it was vampires. And then they gra yeah. one grabbed me, and then I was and shot. Then you, and then you got shot. Didn't by one you of taste us. the vampire juice? What? Oh yeah, I, I licked it. Oh. And, like, and then it's right. It tastes like human blood and something else. Mm. Let me check like on the progress of that clock. No, just. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Sometimes in Blades in the Dark, there are clocks, and you can keep track of things that are going on all over the city by keeping track of how many ticks on the clock have been ticked. So some of you in your downtimes have pursued um, some endeavors that might involve some ticking clocks. But the last downtime that we did, I think we got everybody caught up. And if we didn't, we'll do it another time. So let's play. Let's do this. You guys have decided, right, that you're going to pursue some. You, you can open up your belt. <laughs> just do yeah. it. Just try to find an option. Just rip off the scab. There you go. Um, you guys have decided that you're going to pursue some turf. And, and am I correct? Have you said and decided that this is going to be your, you're going to go head to head with the weeping lady? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The occult we'll has no place here in the night markets. Do we have anything Ooh. to like combat ghosts? Anything? No. Wait, they're ghosts? I well, they're, they we can assume they're they an occult, occult group, so, so they, they most likely have some, some form. Right. Maybe oh, we can ask the Lamplex. I have the electroplasm bullets. What? I'm not sure. Do we have a gun? <laughs> I, I yes. have yes, several, yes, we have several, several guns. guns. <laughs> Just, <laughs> so Just making sure. You know. So maybe we can ask the Lamplex for a favor, since we did a couple of missions to get something but the, but here's the thing if we that's do that, a good start, that that that's a good idea but then they're going to ask for like some sort of share do we have like a boatload of coin though? well as in a share of like the turf i'd assume but that might not be like, how they it could works they could just take a coin okay but that also may go, to be fair that also may go in our favor fair. because as long as we're building reputation with them that will lead to us being able to work for them more and a lot more Back and forth. Luke then Luke also Luke having a, a well, big to become their equals. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Then we'll take them. Good old-fashioned backstab. We'll take them over. No kill us yeah. before then. That's fair. Yeah. Mm. They can't uh, kill me. But yeah. We'll so we'll kill we'll ourselves before. You actually haven't proved if your if bullets can affect you yet. No, they can. Remember when he got shot? <laughs> <laughs> He's just kind of like. Far Cry 4, just it out. All right, so <laughs> with any heist, there are some phases. We are in the planning phase. So you guys are going to discuss what what are you doing to prepare for this heist? So I'll, I'll let each person say what they would like to do, and then we will adjudicate all of your, uh, your stuff. James, yes. what if you try to contact the Lamplex, get like a coin or two, and try to get something that can hunt ghosts from the lamp legs, if they okay. have anything of that type of um, If we're gonna do that, out of t um, I could take, I could go with somebody else just so we have a couple people going and we can go make contact with the lamp legs, get as much information from them as we can, any other details. In the meantime, we should have some people scouting out the area. Yeah, I, 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 was can, do I can do that. Yeah. I have two, uh, well, okay. two are very good at that. I have that. one survey, but I also have two in problem. Yeah, so uh, us two, we are the, Communicators. Yeah, he's got. Talkers. He's got sway. I, I've got consort. So we could probably try and find some sort of connections within the ranks that we have. Right. All right. Um, I'll go survey the area. I guess like ahead of time. I'll okay. go with him. So physically scouting out the area. Socially trying to get contacts and info as much as you can yes. about the faction or their turf. Probably both. Okay, so what I think we should do is that you should probably go for their faction. I can go for the Turks specifically to see what they have okay. in terms of around and what we might be dealing with, what they kind of what kind of weaponry they have access to. Right. Okay. okay. We'll, we should we'll take some coin too. I have. No, I pretty much have like none. Likewise. <laughs> okay. Well. So <laughs> then take some. Yeah. So take some. Okay. Some fair. Right. We have the. Are yeah. you guys prowling? Yes. Sure. Who's the best anything. at prowl? This one. I have two. I have mm. one. Mm. Okay, go ahead and roll. 
Both of us are just down. Just job. Five and a three. You succeed. That's how easy that is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Um, you guys take your time. You scope this out. You, you actually go into this specific block uh, in the night market where there are a lot of little shops. And the specific shop that is owned by the Weeping Lady uh, is a secondhand store. So I want you to imagine a Dusk Vol version of Goodwill. Basically, people drop off donations. Um, the, the, the staff there kind of clean things up, patch it up, and then they resell these things at a much lower cost. But they're still basically making money. And all of the money goes to help out the the um, humanitarian efforts that are that are you know prop like basically handled by the weeping lady. We're terrible. Who cares? It's an occult. The humanitarian yeah. efforts that yeah. The humanitarian so efforts that fund the, the, themselves. Uh, hum the yes. humanitarian All their efforts. philanthropic, philan you know, philanthropic efforts. Um, you know, they're they're funded by operations like this. Now, the other interesting thing is that this is an all coin, you know, all cash um, kind of business. So a lot of it is very much <coughs> off the record. Um, so from a criminal standpoint, um, their little shop is a great way to, to kind of launder money. Love it. Um, <laughs> while scouting it out, you guys, you guys will find out like the specifics. I'll, I'll, I'll explain that to you. But there's basically two doors. There's a front door that's on the street that people, you know, come and go in. There's a back door that's for employees only. Mm. Um, it's a two-story building, and the first floor is all all of like the shops, and then the second floor is like employees only. Um, just a question: Do the employees there wear like a uniform? Yes. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, it's a very simple, like, gray uniform with, like, a, a blue triangle etched into it with, like, an eye. And the eye has, like, a little tear. Do the employees eye. often go through, like, a door to the second floor? Um, you don't see any stairs that go to the second floor from the main shop. So you assume that, that the stairs to the second floor are in the rear entrance which you guys have not yet gone in. So that's that's kind of what you're able to ascertain. Um, you guys, are you doing a little bit of, who, who's doing what? Are you doing more of the social face stuff, or are you? Um, how are you on consort? I think you take face, and I'll just, I'll make sure I'm not as good well, as. Well, I, I had a, an, a sort of idea. I could probably go to one of my, I, I, I have, an information broker listed on my friends, so I can probably go check them out, see. Okay, what anything. kind of information are you trying to get? Trying to see what kind of weaponry they're packing, if they're packing anything at all. And I'm trying to find more, if they know anything about the sort of area where the shop is set up, and if they could possibly know any sort of you know weaponry that they might have in areas that they, they don't want the public to see. I'm gonna have you make a consort roll. Okay. A four and a three. Four is fine. All right. So your contact tells you that. Um, wh who's your contact? It is a Salia, an information broker. So she tells you that um, at this particular operation, that um, they they might have very light security because it, it's a secondhand store. It's not something that is is going to be robbed typically. Um, so that you know, it, it it probably the weaving lady doesn't have a lot of like heavy muscle protecting this location. However, you should be careful because the weeping lady has a number of people in it who are capable of doing things like curses. Hmm. Okay, James. Um, I will like so I'm gonna take something out of the same book. I'm going to go to one of the um, one of my friends, Clara, a tavern owner, mm -hmm. and try to see if she knows anything about the Weeping Lady making any con in any contact with the Lamp and the Banker. Lamp, Lamp Blacks. Consort? Consort? 
It's a six, though. Wow. Okay. You actually get a fair amount of information. There was a time where the Weeping Lady um, was was kind of considered off limits to almost every gang. Uh, like they had a certain amount of respect um, within upper society of Duskfall because of the philanthropic efforts. Right. And they were actually supported by like a number of nobles. Uh, so no, they were off limits to a number of gangs for a few years. And something, your contact doesn't know exactly what, something happened about five years ago, and it had something to do with the war, the, the like Scovlin War. Um, but at some point, the Weeping Lady kind of got political and started to help out the Scovlin refugees. And so they kind of lost favor amongst the Akarosi nobles. And it was at that point when they had kind of run out of support with the nobles that they had to kind of turn towards shadier operations to keep their efforts going. Um, you do know that there's something, there, there are some rumors, that, and, and you're able to, because you rolled uh, a critical success, uh, you, you, you know that there are also some rumors that some of the founding members, even when they were like under the, the blessings of the nobility, some of the founding members of the Weeping Lady were like cultists who had strange kind of knowledge of the arcane and also had uh, more than a little bit of experience dealing with demonology and ghosts. <laughs> I, I literally do that on purpose just to watch your expression change. <laughs> our, 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 our clan of Akarosi and our one Scovland. Viking man, bring us to To be theory. To be fair, that you are a walking tank, so Actually. it's perfectly fine. <laughs> Philip or uh, Lucas, is there anything that you guys wanted to do prep-wise or just tell me prep-wise that you're doing before we uh, get James into the engagement role? James told me not to do anything stupid or make oh. anything bad, so no, I'm not going to wreck anything <laughs> yet. Okay. Uh, I can only destroy stuff. So. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. I have no promises for what's going to happen in the shop. <laughs> We're taking over the shop, so can we not destroy? So don't bomb the goodwill. How would you describe <laughs> this plan? Is it a, an assault? Is it a deception? Is it a stealth, an occult, a social, or a transport? I'd say we. We, normally, we usually do stealth, and if things go bad, it's, we it's it's kind of rolls to us all. But yeah. it, which is normally how it happens. But as I want to, I, I feel like this so, time we might just want to go full on assault this one. Yeah. Or, or, or what we could do is that we could. Uh, well, I have an idea. We could stealth in because it's a it's a shop. They're not expecting people to just kind of waltz in there, hold a gun up to the counter, and say, "Give us all your money." They're expecting people to walk in and buy stuff. So theoretically. We could walk in, at, like as normal people, like not all at the same time, but you know, scattered uh, within like ten minutes, and not try to look suspicious. Put ourselves around the room, and then once we're all in there and we all look at each other, we have a signal, which Omaha, <laughs> Omaha. <laughs> oh, yeah, Omaha, and then we can commence the assault. Okay, and, uh, that, that is very specific. I Let me rewind. And, and go ahead, you okay. guys. I'll, I have say, another suggestion. Keep we it more work. general, because right, we haven't even made we'll the engagement role. Yeah, uh, I, I'm, I'm just looking essentially for like, what's your kind of approach to okay. this? Because remember, this isn't robbing a shop. We're this taking is taking over the turf. You're not, you're not just robbing this shop. You're basically sending a message to the weeping lady that like you are taking over this turf now. Okay. Yeah. So we can do something like half and half, where. Lucas and I assume mm -hmm. us other three we're gonna just right in the front of the shop do what you did just take it over with force and we're gonna draw the attention away from them who might go into the back door or see what's in the upper floor maybe take over from there mm -hmm. um okay, sorry just clarification that back door is that the only way to the upper floor where the employees come through yes okay just make sure exactly get, what I'm gonna get say something to there. like break down the door in case it's locked well I think we already have something I'm team, <laughs> I'm team front door. You're team you front door. aren't sure okay. if it's locked because your reconnaissance, it seemed well, like people that were staff members who went in there during the day 
they didn't have keys, but they always knocked, and then somebody would like open the door. Well, John, you can just go. Yeah, you can go ghost, ghost, ghost mode. Go, you can go through it. Follow right? behind someone well, who goes in. Oh, yeah, follow behind someone. To wedge the door open that slightly so it can't really close. Yeah, do that. Yeah. And just a little food for thought. Another thing we could always try is, um, I'm pretty good at getting through, swaying people, flipping some ideas. I could always try to get in, get up to top, get in, try to meet whoever's kind of on top of this operation and just take them out from the top down. If, if you got like some nice clothes on you, maybe you can like say, hey, I'm like, I'm trying to make a pretty sizable donation to this cause or whatever. And I can get you there. would be happy to know that my Okay, so, so far I'm detecting that you guys would like to do a s deception, stealth, deception, assault. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that, that's pretty much why I, it boils down to. Yes, fantastic. So just to be clear on camera, I just want to say that once again, I completely hate all of you. All right. <laughs> so, do you um, not? Do you want us to just go on like a full brunt? No, 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 no. I, no, no, I don't no, want no, you we're to going, do anything. We're going I, 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 I don't control anything. This is all of you about to make this uh, colossal yeah. mistake. It's going to be deception so, and mistake. stealth, and if mm -hmm. anything goes wrong, it's assault. I got it. It's, it's the <laughs> it's usual. Very, it's it's what you were developing as the mo. Curses. You start off with in, a really good idea, the best intentions. And then everything goes sideways, which is actually kind of part of this game. Yeah. So now uh, I will ask you what your loadout is going to be. Yeah. Because before I bother to make the engagement roll, we need to decide that. So you guys do have a benefit, right? Because of your yeah. Because of your crew special abilities, um, don't you get? Yeah, we get plus it's. two for every level, I think. Okay. So your your loadout uh, is either going to be light, normal. Uh, so a light load is one to three. Normal is four to five. Uh, a load of heavy is six, or encumbered is seven to nine. But for us, it's... Isn't it plus add two Yeah, to we that? get two free yeah. load of weapons or armor. And then don't forget, we also have the... Each, each of us may add a plus one to hunt, skirmish, or wreck up to a maximum of three. Yeah. yeah. And Let's I talk loadout, though. Um, yeah. Just, so just, put, you just, just need to decide there. if you're doing Sorry. normal heavy. or heavy. Right. And then kind so, of indicate that, and then you could decide what your specific loadout is later. Just just know if you're front door, or if you're front, I would not take light. <laughs> yeah. No, you're taking heavy. You're always taking um, heavy. Just the what is this? Is the spirit chain, the spirit bane charm? Is that against curses? Mm-hmm. It is. Okay. And yes, from the information we would have gathered, I, I would suggest probably be ready for ghost stuff. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but it is. Okay. Everybody happens. have a loadout picked? Mm -hmm. So that's now one. we get into the fun part that that's I'm going to describe. Two. It's called the engagement roll, everybody. And it's where we consider um, where you're, you're kind of coming into this. Like, what's the situation as you were, or as you were about to start this, this heist? So um, do you have a major advantage? Is the operation particularly bold or daring? Do the plan's detail expose a vulnerability of the target? Um, do, you, do you have friends or contacts that provided aid or insight? Uh, is the target a lower tier? No, actually they're the same tier as you. And district modifiers. Um, the night market district modifiers don't actually impact anything. So okay. I'm going to say that you have an advantage. Do you have a major disadvantage? Is it overly complex or contingent on many factors? Oops. <laughs> I mean, it, it <laughs> is the target strong against the, the approach? Mm. Enemies, rivals interfering in the operation? Who knows? We should have asked about that. Target Ooh, is a higher tier. That District is, yes. modifiers. OK, so time for the engagement roll. Here, here we go. I roll this behind the screen, and nobody else except me and the people at home can see what the number is. I'm not looking. <laughs> Stop. Don't look. OK, so. Looking over there, so I can't see it. He's done with the roll. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> All right, yell, oh, this we'll should be fun. You yeah, guys are coming up to the street. Okay. The I want you to imagine that this particular block on both sides of the sides of the streets are buildings that are literally right up against each other. They're built onto each other, like a strip plaza, okay? But on a block, on a very crowded street. It is nighttime, of course, 
not daytime where it's dark, but nighttime where it's very dark. But it's also dusk fall, so you see, you know, people out and about on the streets. Uh, not as many perhaps as daytime, but there are still people out and about. Some of the shops are closed, and like closed also means like a lot of times they have like shuttered the doors and windows, you know, with, with heavy wooden uh, kind of reinforced shutters uh, because, you know, burglary. Um, but your particular shop is in the middle of the block, so I need to know where you guys are as you are approaching this heist. So front or back. And and the shop is open. Uh, front. I'll be yeah. asking back door. Front. Back. Front door. Front. OK. Should I be in the back just in case? Up to you, man. I want you to talk to people. So people who are there going are in the back, what's person. your approach? We could wait for some So further. there's an alley. And that, you know, as you walk through the back, you walk past many um, other shops. but. You could see the back door. It is currently closed. You don't see any employees outside. We could always wait for someone, but I don't know if that would happen if, when they start the whole thing, if there's going to be people running in or out. I mean, could I just go up like to the door, just like try to open it like slightly just to check if it's locked or not? Yes. There's the single finger. Make door. a probable. Sneak Wouldn't it there up. be someone waiting by the door, though? I, well, I'm not going to open it fully. I just want to like... Well, I think they would have, see the handle yeah, twist, true. maybe. Yeah, but, you know, they don't... I think there's a doorman there, just waiting. We'll, we'll see. All right, we'll, we'll find out. Yeah. As a <laughs> one. Oh, nice one. You go up. <laughs> it is not unlocked. Like, it, it doesn't move. OK. So you, you, you don't make any door handle move because it's locked. All right, cool. You back away. Yeah. You're uh, in the back area? Yeah. Two? Where are you, front or back? Front. Who else is in the back? Just two of them. Okay, so the rest of you guys, smash cut to the other side. There are a few people, like I said, on the street, a few other shops sporadically on the block open. Um, the front of this store is dimly lit, but nonetheless lit. All right, uh, all right, so we have guns. Shoot Absolutely. people in uniforms. Maybe, mm -hmm. I, wait, what if we just, what Go if, in. Okay. Let's don't kill civilians. We'll take no, a little, just don't take kill a little bit of time. Right Everybody move in. Space it out a little bit. Get a little bit of space. I'm gonna try to talk to some people. Just look around the store. Um, I'll give you a notice if it goes south. On my way in, I would like to try to find the most important person in uniform. Like I said, you'd be kind of running anything down here. Mm. So you guys go in. Okay. Not at the same time, because that would space be suspicious. You space it out. All right. As you guys kind of go in, gradually you. You pretend like you're shopping. There are just rows of, of cheap wooden shelves with just, it's almost like a flea market. Just random things will be on one set of shelves and then the next set of shelves is like other random things. And um, there, there are people in there kind of meandering and looking through and you know, people holding up clothes and looking for holes and kind of like smelling the clothes and looking at stains. And How big is the store? It is, um, it's, it's actually pretty sizable. It's about two store, it's about two lots wide, so it's like 120 feet wide by about That's 90 feet bad. deep. Okay. <clears throat> so um, there is a counter where people pay, and it's actually by the, it's like by where you enter. Okay. When you enter, you notice that there's like two uh, like, you know, uniformed employees who are like greeters, except they didn't greet you because they look like they hate their job. They're like, hmm. And then they like just were by the door. Uh, the counter where people pay, there are like three different employees who also were standing there and look like they hate their job. Um, to one of the first one, I would like to approach, not really directly looking at his face, just kind of like almost side by side. And I'm just going to kind of say quietly, just kind of into his ear, I just want to say, we're on business with the Lamp Jacks. I want to meet a group. We need to meet some of the people that run this establishment. Lamp Blacks, sorry. Make, um, hmm, that's a good question. You are a little bit trying to compel this person to do what you need them to do. Um, you could make a command roll. 
or if you're trying to do this in more of a friendly, argumentative, uh, swaying kind of way, you could do that. We're going to go swaying. Okay. Six, Six and a four. four. Very effective. You uh, oh, man's rolled what two sixes so far? <laughs> and, and, and was this Three one of the two yeah. like door people or one of the cashiers? Door. Okay. Um, you, you kind of lean in, and, and when you mention <laughs> um, the lamp plaques, you you hear you hear a, a, an audible like, <gasps> and um, the guy like is is like. Uh, Sure thing. One moment. Uh, I just. Uh, I'll need to go upstairs. Good thinking. It was just me, like he trying on a shirt. Like it's like wait. Just trying to try on a shirt. It <laughs> rips. <laughs> as as he gets up, the other guy kind of looks at him like curiously, but then kind of goes back to just like spacing out with looking at the store. Um, the one guy walks towards the back of the store. And you see a door, and on that door, it's stenciled in like white paint, like staff only. And you see him go to that door, and then he goes in and walks through, closes the door. How, okay, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to be looking around, but I had a question. How visible is that staff only door to the, to like the front? And are these shelves like super low? Uh, like... You 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 could see over the shelf. The shelves are only like five feet tall. So okay. you you could see over the shelves, like way in the distance, in, at the back of the store. Uh, you see that door. Okay. So I will be just rummaging around, looking up stuff. Okay. You're in the back. You're in the back. You come into the store. Mm -hmm. This okay. big. Burly man. What would you <laughs> like to do? For I'll, a new I'll pair just of be hands. like looking around, like at the pieces of clothing, trying to see if there's one that would fit me at all. Okay. You you go to like the the men's clothing area, and um, you actually find uh, a very solid like wool jacket, and it's it's old and it's kind of worn. And then as you're holding it up, you see that it it, it has a couple holes leaves. in it. And it looks like maybe some things were removed. Like at one point, it might have had something, uh, like patches or something that were that were cut away. And then you realize that even though it's it's kind of like dimly lit, you know, in this in this store, you kind of hold it up and you realize like this is a this is an old Scovlin army jacket. I'm buying it. <laughs> Just buys it, leaves the store, forgets this about the job. This big happy man walking over to the cash. <laughs> he forgets why he's here. He walks out, goes um, back home. <laughs> you notice as you're as you're walking, you're like holding it up and like looking at it. Uh, you you notice that as you're walking towards the cashiers to to pay, uh, you see a, a, a fair-skinned woman with uh, three kids, and she's like got like an armload of of clothes, and and you recognize immediately like she's a Scovlin woman. And she's got like an armload of clothes, and she's like holding the clothes up to the kids and trying to size them up. And social dilemma. <laughs> you you're walking past, and and one of the kids who's probably like a little boy, he's probably like two. He's like he, in in Scovlin. He says like Dada, Dada, and the woman's oh, like no. no, 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 Dada. And then she responds in Scoville and she's like, no, no, that's not Dada. And then she looks at you and she, she just kind of smiles. <laughs> <laughs> I just smile like, Dada? I do the temperature. Okay. You continue walking to the cashier? Yeah. All right. <laughs> that, that, um, <laughs> um, smash right. cut. Um, you're waiting for the guy to come back. You're like browsing through the like home goods area where there, there's just like 30 different kinds of, of mugs that none of them match. And you're, you're like looking at these and you see um, Demon like holding a jacket and like walking up towards the cashier. Just letting you know that you see that. Okay. Um, you also oh, are in the, in the store now. You, you kind of come in, right? Yep. And uh, um, you, you kind of see, you know, your people sort of spread out, and you see a guy um, come through a door at the back of the store that says staff only. 
and start walking towards the front. Is he, does he look like he's walking towards yes. my man's here? Yes. Okay. Um, is there any sort of shelf close by to where they would be? There is. There's actually, you're near the shoe section. So okay. there are hundreds of shoes. Uh, Many of them do not match. I am going to simple. go to a, the closest corner to where this man is, mm -hmm. but still like at least 10 feet away, somewhat, and try and listen if they're going to be uh, speaking about anything, trying on, okay. well, trying on some uh, You see shoes. as, as um, you, you see the guy approaching, and he's walking, and he has a very serious expression on his face, and he comes up to you and he says, he says, uh, the lady will see you, follow me. And he, he begins walking back towards the door. Um, as I'm just gonna give the little bow, and as he turns, I'm gonna start following. I'm just gonna snap eyes over to you and just kind of give you just like a little head nod. Okay. Uh, I will follow. You're following him. He goes to the door. You see, he pulls out a key, unlocks it, opens the door, and he gestures to like kind of a, a back room that is very basic, just like bare bones walls that are unpainted, concrete floor, and you see a set of stairs leading up, and you see a door just beyond this, about 20 feet past it, that you assume is the back door, and you see two big guards at the back door, also wearing uniforms. Smash cut to the back. You guys are outside in the alley. All right. I do have a lock picked if you want to try and get in that way. All right, but if we do get in and then they, for whatever reason, see us, that kind of ruins their whole plan. We could open the door and maybe make a distraction in the back so they come out to investigate, and I could go ghost fail and go through. All right. What, what about him? He'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> make do with what you have. Just put a wedge or something in the door. Just leave it. We could do that. Leave it propped open for me. Leave it propped yeah. all in. We okay. should do that. We do you guys know the knock? So what are you guys doing? Should we just make a distraction and see if we can get him to lure, to lure him out? What kind of distraction you want to do? Dumpster fire? <laughs> Kick uh, a man. Yeah. I mean, are there, people um, is there a really? dumpster for us to light on fire? <laughs> do we have anything? There is not a dumpster, but there is a, a trash bin. A rubbish bin, if you will. <laughs> and this <laughs> rubbish bin is... Right. is it's it's kind of like the big size garbage cans that they have in the lunchroom. Like, it's, oh, okay. it's sizable. Now, okay. it is also three quarters full of rubbish. Even better. Fuel. <laughs> <laughs> just okay, yeah, yeah, I think we'll light oh. it. Um, are just healthy people. Are there anarchists. lanterns or fires? <clears throat> that we can this do? is now the time for you to decide what you brought from your loadout, John, and okay. indicate it by marking it with pencil. So or you chose a loadout. I have lockpicks, a spirit vane, a blade, and armor. So that answers your question about the oil, doesn't it? There you go. Yeah. There we go. Max? Uh, I have pistols, my rifle, spirit vein charm, a rolling nice armor. Ooh. Assuming that they're single shot pistols, yes. you would oh you'd carry extra powder with you, wouldn't you? I mean, is it that kind of? Sure. Yes. <laughs> That's a good point. Well played, John. Okay. Is there Get like inspiration? Wait, <laughs> uh -huh. this is not there's no inspiration. <laughs> Sorry, there's no inspiration. Okay, nice, nice job though. Yeah, you do. I'll say you have some extra power. Right. Sure. Is, is there like some kind of like like rock or flint or some kind of thing? Yes. Okay. There's actually so cool. a piece so, of old flint in the rubbish bin. All right, I'm gonna take that out. I'll take guys. some of the powder. I'll just start like pouring it around inside the trash can. I'm gonna take uh, one of the throwing knives out. I'm just gonna start striking the flint. Excellent. You begin this process. Smash cut. The guy gestures to the stairs. He says, follow me. He starts walking up the stairs, and then it gets to a landing, and then it turns, and he walks up another set of stairs. When you get to the landing, and you're seen up, up the stairs, you see another door at the top of the stairs with another big bouncer. The guy walks up. So that's three now? <clears throat> yep, the guy walks up and gestures to, to the guy at the top. The guy at the top waits for you to get to the top. And then the first guy, leaves and he goes back downstairs. Okay. So the guy at the top of the stairs says, hold out your arms. And he begins patting you down for weapons. What are your what are your weapons on this loadout? In my right hand I'm holding like a fancy cane. Oh, okay. 
Um, is that the only weapon that you have on your loadout? Oh god, no, no, he's, no, just I getting started. Started. <laughs> he's just getting started. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. He begins searching you. What does he find? Yeah, what does he find? Go ahead. He would find two knives and two pistols. Okay. So he you have he this doesn't cane. seem like shocked or worried. He he's he takes the knives, looks at them, and nods, sets them on this wooden uh, shelf that's kind of like on the wall next to the door. Takes the pistols, looks at them, sets them on the shelf, looks at your hand holding the cane, and he's like, uh, points to the shelf, cane, shelf, cane. He, he holds the cane. He goes, there, there we go. He goes, don't, don't worry, no one comes up here. That stuff's safe. Then he All takes right. it for himself. No. <laughs> he knocks three times on the door. And then he waits about a second, and then he goes. And the whole time he doesn't break eye contact with you. Just like that. It was He like does the knocking routine, and then he doesn't break eye contact with you. And then he just waits, and you hear a and the door, you hear it unlocking from the other side. And then you hear the door open, and you see another big guy on the other side of the door. God, he's got competition. <laughs> and you notice that there's a dim kind of blue light on the other side of the door. And uh, this guy says, follow me. And he starts leading you down a hallway. And this is a dark hallway, and it's very long. And it's, it's only illuminated by this kind of pale, strange blue light in these little sconces along the hallway. Uh, there are doors on either side as it goes down this long hallway. Smash cut. And you're like, yeah, fire, yeah. And, he, yeah, and, fire. and, and the, you go, and it starts the fire. And then you hear the door open, and you hear a voice go, hey, what are you doing over there? Oh, homeless people. And you see one of the, the um, like, one of the employees, kind of a bigger guy, he's like coming out, and he's got a pipe. Like he was coming out to smoke his pipe, but he sees you and he's like, what are you doing over there? Um, Just trying to get warm. He goes, go get warm somewhere else, piss off. All right, kill him. No, <laughs> kill him. No, I don't think he's gonna kill him. Just do it. I'm gonna... Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go fail. Just pick up the fire. You are entering Ghost Vale. All right, describe how that works, John. As he's looking at me, mm -hmm. I just just slowly fade into mist. He Going runs up. inside and slams the door behind him. <laughs> uh, Smash cut to the front of the store. Uh, I just want to specify yeah. that as soon as I saw him walking towards the entrance, and after he gave me that nod, I'm going to slowly make my way through the outer rim and head towards the door, and so I kind of sit outside it, but still looking at things to the right, point so where going we're around to the staff-only door in a roundabout way. Yeah, so okay. I'm not directly you. following. Uh, Staying near the front of the store. Okay. Still, still looking. You're at the cashier. The cashier <laughs> looks at your jacket and she's like, Is that all, sir? Yes. Okay. Yes. It'll be uh, seven pieces. It's one point. I, I just give them, I just give her the coin. Here. Here. Thank but you, sir, for yeah. your donation. And then I, as she's saying that, lady. I'm just putting it on as she's saying that. For you. Would you like a receipt, no. sir? <laughs> And then I just go back into the store and looking at other things. Thank you, sir. Always take the receipt. You never know if you get scanned. As you're turning around to go look at other things, as you're making your way towards the back of this door, as you're kind of by the front, you guys all hear a bell start to ring. Ding, 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 ding. Not a spirit wardens. Not oh. the dong of dong. death. Just to like a ding, 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 ding. ding. <laughs> And you notice that when the dinging begins, like all of the uniform staff people start like looking around and like the cashiers suddenly like close up their stuff and pull these wooden boxes over and they chain the, the wooden boxes and they begin like packing everything up. And you notice the door guy who is right next to you, just one of them, remember, because the other one went back to escort him, is like, everybody has to leave now, go on. We're closing up, that's the bell, come on. No, I, I want to keep, I want to keep, 
checking. You're talking to like a random employee? No, to the guy that, oh wait, is it over an announcement? You're in like the middle of the store. No, <laughs> just I just, I just yelled across the floor. I just yelled, no, I'm still searching. You got, got to leave, sir, got to leave. Fuck off. Smash cut. <laughs> the door is closed and you guys are in the back. Picks up a throw. You're, you, you successfully ghost formed. We could. <laughs> I want to say throw the fire at the building. <laughs> <laughs> What's that going to accomplish? I don't know. This is very go. This is quickly going to arson. Yes. Yeah, good. I don't, I don't think we're ready to Omaha we, just We yet. could just lock pick the door. Just, yeah, just pick the lock. All right. See, I'm going to be honest. I brought fine lock. We might okay. have to. Picking the lock, I assume, yeah. is going to be a function of tinker? I think so, yeah. Possible. Yeah. I Which I have none in. Or is you? it finesse? Hmm. John, make your <laughs> you lockpicked and during the Jade Dragon. I remember that because you. I did. And then, but because I, I couldn't, and I'm not sure what role we used. Yes. for it, it wasn't Tinker. Tinker is correct. It was Fun Tinker. Little, All right. Was it? Yep. Oh, what's it called? Do you have can, like, use, like, the Do you have finesse? I have finesse. I have two. Okay, because it says it says like at the very uh, end of right finesse right? it says yeah. you could H. At the very end of finesse it says you could try to pick a lock, but Tinker might be better. So I will let you try with finesse. Go ahead. All right. You have two dice. So I do have two dice. It's a very desperate action right now. Three. Oh, oh my god. god. Excellent. That signifies failure. You're like, <laughs> tick, and your lock pick breaks off, and then the door swings open again. Now, how does this affect you if you're in the form that you're in? It says that you may shift partially into the ghost field, becoming shadowy and insubstantial for a few moments. Okay. The door flies open and hits you in the head. You take one bruised harm, and you're knocked back onto your ass. And the guy that kicked the door open is the same guy that came out initially, except now he has a big wooden club, and there's another dude right behind him that has a big wooden club, and they, they're storming out. One's walking up to you to like swing at you. The other one's walking towards you by the rubbish bin, and he's like, all right, time for you guys to go. Well, he couldn't, he couldn't see me. Um, he can. Ghost Veil is invisible rather than shadow. Yeah, for some reason it's what? not there anymore. <laughs> oh. Okay, uh -oh. smash uh -oh. cut before you guys get your... <laughs> Shit kicked your, in. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> your spankings. You're in the top floor. Right. <sighs> You're walking down the hallway. Terribly. And the, the one, you know, door guard that let you in is, right. is like five feet ahead of you. You get to the end of the hallway and he... He gestures to a door, and you see something. Around the door, the frame of the door is not just like a normal straight like wooden framed, it's carved. And there's all these weird kind of scary demon faces carved into the frame around the door. And he says, and he, he, like, he knocks, knocks again, and then he nods at you and he walks back down the hall. In the distance, you hear something. You hear like a ding, 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 like a, a bell. Okay. You hear the door on the other side open. Like you hear it go ch -ch -ch, and then the door swings open. No one's there, but you can see into the room. And what you see is smash cut down to the main entrance. <laughs> you are by the main entrance and you see people getting shooed out of the store and one of the bouncers comes up to you and he's like, Sir, you must leave now. We're closed. Gotta leave. Gotta, gotta go, sir. Go. I'm pointing go. out my gun. Leave. Pointing it at him. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, I'm oh, pretty not. sure that you were going to be um, commanding him? I think so, yeah. I'll push myself for that. Do you not have any? In I mean, unless you're just pulling out your gun to shoot him, but if you're pulling out your gun to intimidate him, I'm just pointing out my gun. Oops. Okay. Pointing at him. And pointing it at him. Okay. Go ahead and make a command. What is your thought process? I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's not worry about it. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh, oh well. Oh, no. oh, boy. Pull out your gun and aim it at him, and he's like, oh. Oh, that's how it is. Oh. Okay. You you, you could stay. <laughs> After that, I am going to just confidently march to the, the staff door. Okay. And then just wait there. You're by the staff door. The staff door opens. <laughs> the staff door opens. Oh, it opens? Yeah, and I'm the gonna... original bouncer who escorted James up comes out and like turns 
and he he's obviously like looks up and hears the bells ringing and he closes the door behind him. He goes to close the door behind him. Uh, is there any way, you know, before he closes the door, I'm gonna put my foot in, I'm gonna, uh, so I have, I'm gonna put my hand up, uh, cause I have a palm pistol. I'm gonna take mm-hmm. it out and put it at his head while I'm putting the foot in the door. And I'm gonna attempt to get it open while he is, uh, no. Would you like to make a command roll? Yeah. I'll, I'll push You're trying to compel him to obey you? Yeah, so I'm trying to compel him to stay put mm-hmm. and don't stop me. <laughs> so, no, I'm not. not I, I have one in this. One. Maybe you should push it. Maybe I should. I'm gonna push myself. <laughs> That's your stress? Yeah. I got caught down. It's under control. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> it's all under control. <laughs> you upstairs being like, I'm just moaning it on and like. <laughs> All right, that's six. Oh. Yeah, okay. I'm glad I pushed myself. You, you, you're like, don't move, and you, and you like, wedge your foot into the door, and he's like, okay, please don't kill me. I don't <laughs> have any weapons. Not. I mean, gonna... we, we don't have a lot of money here. It, we're, These we're, guys don't really. And he's like, just he's, he's like, so. I, I won't move. I won't do anything. I promise. Okay, I'm gonna motion for just him just to get the fuck in here. Okay, cause... so you see, basically, like. The, the guy that had originally escorted James had now has his gun to his head, yep. and the door is open. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna walk in and follow him. Okay. I'm going to... I'm just gonna nonchalantly see it, and then like, oh, okay, and then the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the door's open! And then just go walk, there. Walk, walk, okay. <laughs> in, your, in your newly, uh, recently acquired, and yet very used, former army, <laughs> Scotland <laughs> army jacket. Yeah. Excellent, all right. Do we the next action? Yes. Okay, so I assume that now at this point it's just a straight hallway to... It's not even a hallway, it's like like a back room that's like 20 by 20, and you see the stairs, and you see the back door to what okay, you presume yeah. is the back of the building is just open. So I'm And there's going, something going on outside. Do we hear that? Do um, we hear a small... The problem is, is that the bells are ringing. Okay. I am going to just... You know, go out on a whim with my pistol drawn and just walk out there and see what's going on. Excellent. You're holding the door for him. You see him coming? Yeah. Okay, smash cut to the back. You guys are in the alley about to get into a big fight. What would you like to do? I think murder is the option. <laughs> no! Murder! <laughs> so they're they're alone. We can't suggest them. them. Uh, I, that I, mean, I don't think violence. Well, don't remember, like murder. That skirmish yeah. doesn't mean they're dead. The it yeah, just means just, that you're trying to take them out. Like stab them in the thigh um, <laughs> Can I, like, kind of, like, reach into the burning trash can, pull out, like, some embers, and just kind of chuck it at the guy's <laughs> face? <laughs> yeah. Prof, are you on the right camera? Here we go. Dave? Uh-huh. Go ahead. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll just grab in, grab some embers and just try to chuck them at the guy that's approaching me. Okay, so skirmish, go. Skirmish. Ooh. You can do this, fella. Uh, did you mark the? Did you get? Did you get the did extra you mark point? Your point? Uh, I yeah. put that in hunt. Okay. So okay. Fair, fair. Fair. I'll do that. Could it be hunt since I'm throwing something? No. Okay. <laughs> you're, not, you're not hunting this guy with embers. I don't know, man. <laughs> um, so I like with your some improvised grass. Uh, attack with, <laughs> with the burning like burning embers from the rubbish bin being your your mechanism. So I think it's a, a solid plan to skirmish with him. Okay, so do I still roll two and take the lower? Because yeah. I have no points. Yeah. Okay, well, three. Well, okay, you're like, ha! And he goes, Poof. take uh, two harm. Ooh. Ooh. Take my embers! Horny bonk. Bonk. Oh, no. <laughs> John? All right. How are you dealing with the man who's about to swing at you? I'm so I'm on the ground, just like on my back. Yeah. All right. I'm going to try and just like move out of the way. Okay. He's coming down. Would I roll for that? Yes, you'll roll skirmish. All right. And if you succeed, you don't get beat up. <laughs> I took the extra point. For now, anyway. Six. Hey! Wow. He swings down, and you roll out of the way, and his club goes poof on the on the you know on the ground of the alley. Um, and in fact, because it's a six, I'll say as you're rolling away. You kind of kick out at his leg, and he goes, huh, and he falls down. Solid. Nice. Well okay. done. And then he comes out. <laughs> Philip. Yes. You <laughs> go to the back door, our, our and you see your two around. comrades in the middle of a fight. Both of them are like, huh, like just 
frantically trying to not get beat up by these two burly guys with big wooden clubs. All right, so I assume that I now see that, you know, John's pulled away to safety, his guy's on the ground. But I'm gonna go out and help Max, and using my, I'm gonna need that, uh, using my pistol that I have on, I'm going to attempt to shoot the guy that is attacking him. Oh, That's gonna be a loud <laughs> I mean, sound. You're, you're, you're gonna shoot him, so yeah. do it. Hunt? Yeah. Oh, that's he doesn't know you're there, so you you got a little bit of a. I'm gonna I'm gonna take I'm gonna push myself just to, just in case. Good just move. Oh, oh boy. Oh <laughs> my god. That's a that's a, that's a, that's a higher one. Three. 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 <laughs> one. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is not good. A three and a one. How do you miss the guy that's looking at you and is distracted? I don't know. Uh, I don't give him ideas. Blue. I, haven't, I don't think I've gone out of ghost. Mode. I have. I will tell you that in my brain, I'm trying to decide if I should be punitive with your immensely bad roll. I mean, and Max gets shot. But <laughs> instead of that, I'll say you aim, you fire, you miss, but your bullet hits the rubbish bin. And it makes a very loud metallic clang kind of sound. <laughs> well, is it like masked by the bells, kind of? No, it's no, because this, this is outside in the, the alley, so it's just gunshot. more noise. <laughs> Smash cut. You're standing at an open door. You haven't crossed the threshold because you didn't say that you did that. What do you see inside? I'll tell you. You see a large room that is. Kind of, it looks almost like a one-room apartment. In the far corner, there's like a four-poster bed with like draperies on all sides, like kind of masking out what's inside. Um, and the four-poster bed, like each of the posts is also wooden and carved with inc- intricate symbols. You see a, a large wooden table that is, again, the whole face of the wooden table is like an intricate pattern. Not faces, just like a strange geometric pattern. And surrounding that are eight chairs. Um, You see shelves, wooden shelves, with a variety of books and also strange paraphernalia on them, like small, like, clay statues, um, some, some, like, figurines, uh, and, and a variety of other kind of oddities, like little flasks that have, like, mysterious liquids and stuff. Uh, the source of the blue light, or the source of light is the same as the blue light that you saw in the hallway. You see these, it, it looks almost like an oil lantern, but instead of burning like a warm color, it's sort of like a blue color. And then you hear a voice say, come in. I believe that you wish to discuss something with me on behalf of the Lamp Blacks. Just before I step in, I'm going to like back up and look down the hallway. And with the documents that I have, I'm assuming I'm going to have a pen and ink. And I'm just going to dab a little bit of the ink on my thumb and draw a little B on the wall next to the door. Okay. Then I want. Then you walk in. Smash cut. Downstairs, you're at the door. Yeah. You've already gone through. You get to the door. He's holding the door, and he has a gun to, like, the bouncer's head. Bye. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll just go follow where Philip went. No, 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 no. I'm going to nod for you. So actually, should we? Should we? Should we? Yes, actually. Go out there. <laughs> I, fo- I follow where Philip, where I lo- uh, last saw Philip. Okay. Are you staying? Are you holding the line of the door? I'm going to look at the guy by the door, and I'm going to tell him, don't let any of your friends enter here, or else bad things will happen. The guy that you're holding the gun to? Yeah. He's like, yeah, whatever you say, just don't kill me. Oh, don't worry. You're more useful to me as an asset than dead. That's and terrifying. I'm going to close the door. Oh my god. That's so terrifying. So you're going in and closing the door, or you're staying on the no, store side and closing the door? If I stay on the store side, I'm going to beat up. So I'm going in and closing the door. Are you bringing him with you, or are you leaving him on the store side? I'm bringing him with me. Okay. And then I'm going to so keep him there. So you go into the back room yes. with him. You close the door. You hear it click. And then you are inside of the back room. I'm going to ask him, is there any bouncers upstairs that I need to worry about? Yes. How many? <laughs> Two. Cool. <laughs> I'm going 
Go tell them that there's a scuffle outside. Like, now? Yes. I can leave? Okay. <laughs> Do I ambush them? He steps away slowly from you, and like when you- I'm going to keep sight of him. Okay, he, he's, he moves very slowly, he doesn't reach for any weapons, he walks towards the stairs and he like looks back at you as if to check and make sure that that's okay, and, and then once you acknowledge, then he starts walking up the stairs. And when that's happening, I'm just gonna go around the corner where the stairs are, and I'm just gonna prepare for an ambush. And so you, you see out the back door. Oh. You see he's standing right there, you see they're getting their asses kicked by oh, two guys shit. with big clubs, and you see the one guard that he had a gun to is now going up the stairs. I'm gonna. Oh, what do you do? Well, now that I see my group mates are being uh, beat up, I'm gonna start charging and like doing a, like a tackle oh, towards God. one of the big guards. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Um. <clears throat> Smash cut. If anything, There's you're the safest. One guy player. who's down because he yeah. rolled and kicked out his knee. He's not um, remotely out of the game yet, but you see he's turning to spin and he's like, you son of a bitch, and he's trying to swing at you with his club. Right. What would you like to do? I kind of want to just take my knife and like try and just stab him in the arm to stop him. Skirmish away. I want to stab him in the arm. <laughs> <laughs> this seems like a great idea. Counter it. Five. You stab him in the arm. <laughs> He's like, wow. oh, and he drops his his club and like he he like steps back like five feet away from you and, and holds his his arm where you've you've cut his arm. Um, X. Um, when he shot the trash can, by any chance is the guy beating the crap out of me distracted? He is. <laughs> okay. He, he 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 turned briefly back to see him and then he's going to swing at you. All right, so now enough time for me to like get some distance. You can you could try, sure. All right, I'll, I'm gonna try to get some distance. All right, um, go ahead and skirmish away. Oh, that's another skirmish. Or, or f- uh, I don't know, finesse away. No. <laughs> Neither of those are good. Um, um, uh, tinker away. No. 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 Survey away. <laughs> <laughs> if I push myself, can I just roll one dice? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll do that. How much stress do you have, my friend? One. Just one right now. Okay, good. What? Oh my god! <laughs> Speaking of one. 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 Yeah. You walk forward. You're like, <laughs> no, you, you get up to, to, to oh, get man. away. You get up to get away and, and you slip on like the dirt of the alley and you kind of fall forward and then he hits you in, in the back. Take one more harm. Oh, jeez. Um, as you are clubbed in the back and he kind of knocks you back down to the ground. You're up. Um, I see that John has his situation handled. Sort of. Well, I mean, he's laying there with, on the ground with his arm. He's in the midst of a skirmish, yes. Yeah, so John can handle it. And I'm going to help out Max once again. I'm not going to use the gun this time. I'm going to... Well, you couldn't because you'd have to reload. No, I'm not, that, that takes too much time. So I'm going to throw the gun on the ground, uh, pull out a blade, Mm. and run at uh, Max's attacker and try to stab him. <laughs> okay, skirmish away. Fine. Oh. Thank God. You stab into the guy and, and he's he's like, ow, and he, you stab him in the back. And he, he kind of like falls away from you, um, sort of in between you guys. He's still holding his club and he's turning around to like swing it in self-defense. Um, he swings it and it kind of whips past you, but comes pretty close. Uh, he is hurt. Um, yeah. You see this this happening, mm -hmm. and, and you're running out to to go into wreck mode. Yeah. Who whose opponent are you wrecking? There's John. there's okay. So the <laughs> the, the, uh -oh. the, the, the guy the that that he is fighting with um, is holding his arm. You can see blood like on his shirt and, and seeping through on his hands, uh, and he has a club on the ground. So you, you, how do you do this? I'm gonna do a running start, and then I'm gonna prepare a sucker punch to hit him against the wall. Oh okay, God. so you just want to like knock him out. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and wreck. Mm, let's push myself for four. Oh, <laughs> oh God! <laughs> you don't need to do this. I do. <laughs> yes, I do. You want? Oh my god. That's six, six three, five, 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 that's three, five, five and six. I think this man's done for. 
Uh, yeah. He's, he's more than knocked out. So, so <laughs> how does this look? I mean, he has no idea you're coming. So he, you see over your enemy's shoulder, just oh you, God. you see demon like, oh, you, you've seen that face before. <laughs> I'm gonna take a step out of the way so he, he doesn't and you notice he's wearing enemy. like a new jacket. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's, really it's kind of worn, jacket. but it's sort of you like you in your brain. You're like, he kind of looks badass. In that oh, God, he's <laughs> and he comes up and he just hammer fists this guy, and the guy goes, oh, and like his. You see his head turn, and you hear like a weird bone sound, and the guy hits the ground. He is knocked out. Are you just sure he's knocked out? Face. Yeah, no well, you don't hear any bell toll. Smash cut. Enter. What is it that you wish to discuss? It sounds like a. It sounds like a voice. Um, may, maybe coming from that like corner where the four poster bed is, but you don't like. Like I said, there's fabrics hanging around it, so you don't really see who's in there. The lamp blacks. Speak up! I can't hear you from this distance. The lamp blacks <laughs> wish to discuss some. Possible cooperation. We have recently become interested in your team. Make it a tune roll. <laughs> I'm gonna have to push myself. <laughs> yeah, let's yeah, do that. Thank God you have no stress. Do you have that spirit charm? I do have a spirit charm. Or spirit charm, yeah. Does that do anything? It it does in a defensive way, but this is not an okay. attack on you. <laughs> yeah. Unless you no. Four. Oh. You sense that the voice is not perhaps physically here. <laughs> Surround sound speakers. Dolby Atmos. What sort of business do you have? Why are you and your gang here? We're interested in the possible acquisition of one store. <laughs> With a lot of cooperation, of course. You want this place? We wish for partial ownership of this place. What will you provide for this partnership? Money. And uh, some possible reestablishment of some lost trust in the upper class of this society. Mm. Man, if only if we didn't beat up those bouncers. <laughs> um, I, I think yet. that's worthy of a little sway sway. That's very convincing. Pushing again because I want those three. Yeah, th this is like a big roll. And you Ooh, won one, one three. three! Oh, oh no! Man. You say this, and you hear there's a pause before the response. And then the voice says, one of your friends will not leave here alive, and it might be you. And then you hear the door close. You don't see anyone over there. It just, it just whoosh, slams. Smash cut to outside. I think so we're in Omaha territory at this point. And then you oh, fail. Oh no, whatever happens. Just John, your opponent is knocked so the fuck out. Coming up the like, help me. Yeah. Like, Demon came and like hammer fisted him in the back of his head. The guy like was unconscious before he hit the ground. Oh, some concussion will be fine. I'm gonna go attack Max as attacker. Okay, how? What are you doing? Hey, shh, no talk over. So if he's looking, is he looking at Max? Oh yeah. Okay. So he's kind of it. so he's kind of flanked by Philip and Max. Okay. So like Philip just sliced at him, and and the guy's like swinging wildly with his club between the two of them. All right. I'm just gonna run right for him and just try and like stab poke, him, poke him in the stomach. Okay. Welcome to London. Skirmish. <laughs> Six. Hey. Hey, crap. Oh. oh uh. This is the second time he's been stabbed. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> and he falls. He he like falls away from you, and he's using his club now almost as a cane, and he's like trying to run down the alley to get away. And I'm um, gonna yell command and just say, "Get out!" 
Okay. That's what I was doing. Um, you don't need to roll. He, he's <laughs> terrified of you. Don't let him call. Um, Matt, you see what happens here? Philip, you're you're in this too, so you guys see this happen. All right, so uh, those were the only two guys attacking. Yeah, he's demon kind of... knocked out the one. Yeah. John just stabbed the other guy and is and who is now like trying to flee and run down the alley, and and kind of using like you see two like bleeding wounds. Oh my god! Just, just shoot out his, his kidneys. Do we want? I don't shoot, think we want. Shoot out his club. He has to limp uh, away. You know what? We don't sure, want the spirit ward. You know what? Sure, I'm gonna try to. I'm pull one of the pistols and I'm gonna aim for the club okay. and just try to shoot okay. it out from under. Oh no! If he, excellent. Make a hunt roll. Imagine if you accidentally shoot his leg for the love. If you roll one, that's totally happening. Uh, four. Okay. And a one. The the club goes and he's like and he falls. And then you see he's kind of crawling slash trying to get back up to flee. Oh god. Um That's gruesome. Even for I'm me. just gonna come up to him, I'll put like a foot on his leg, and I'll just say stay. But the other guy said go. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You listen to me, oh, just, not him. Just stay here and Sally, stay don't oh, move. He he literally he just allows him like he, he just falls to the ground and he's like oh. Uh, Try to stabilize. Uh, and and Wait, that's what? I don't know anything. That that would be ideal. Philip, you're up. <laughs> I'm gonna see that happening and be like, hey yo, this is too much even for me. So I'm gonna. You're inside, right? I'm inside, and I'm going to hide. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go back inside, assuming that we're all done out there. Considering don't go upstairs. One of the attackers is dead. The other is being tortured. Uh, he's not that yet. Tortured. And I'm going to consult him with him what he's doing. There are three bouncers upstairs. I am trying to get all of them outside so I can go upstairs. Do I hear this or am I still outside? You're, Please. Please. You're outside. Please. You're standing over like I would much rather the guy that you just knocked out. Outside. Although, what do you want to do? <clears throat> I'm going to start heading join. back in. Okay. Okay, after hearing what he said, he told me to stay outside. So I'm going to wait by the door outside uh, with the pistol and you hear the sound of two sets of feet coming down the stairs. I'm going to quickly. Is there anywhere possibly I can hide? Sure. Possibly. Make a stealth. At the same dandy. Uh, <laughs> That'd be uh, prowl. Oh. Prowl roll. Prowl. Ah, shit. <laughs> so roll two, take lower. Yeah. Okay. Please don't fail me. We're just if I stuff. push myself one more time, I have six stress. Don't do it. <laughs> I already so have I seven. I'm not. I have two. You have seven? Three. I think so. If I can count. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, seven. Well. You're very stressed. That's a two. Wow. I, I, I'm, this is... There's there's a bag fun. of, of um, <laughs> not a bag, I guess like a, 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 like a wooden fruit crate that's full of like shoes and clothes that couldn't be repaired. Like they're, they're either totally like torn up or they're like stained and gross, and and you kind of jump behind that to hide. What are you doing as these footsteps are coming? Because you're in the back room right right now. Uh, probably just. I assume that I'm not that far from the door, so I'm gonna just jump back outside and have a pistol and knife drawn and ready. Like how many two. pistols did you have in your loadout? Two. <laughs> okay. Uh, I brought three. I, as as uh, Philip's character is like hiding at. Uh, Going back outside, I kind of move him over, and then I just like kind of start, uh, wait at the foot of the stairs, oh hearing the footsteps. <laughs> yes, <laughs> this is all. This is the ultimate. So you see, awesome you there. see two more of these guys, and they also have like the big wooden clubs, and they're, they're coming down, and they see you at the bottom of the stairs. They so they're at the landing, like ten feet up from you, ten stairs up, and they're looking at you, and they've stopped, and they've got the clubs. Uh, I yell for Philip to get the other body uh, that okay, I knocked okay. out okay. and tell him to drag him over. So you say this, they could hear you. Yes. Right. And then I tell them, stop there. That is far enough. Make a command roll for me. <laughs> well, I only have one. Let's try. Five. Wow. <laughs> They're like, and they like look at each other wide eyed, gripping the, the clubs. But they don't come down the stairs. They wait, and then I just wait for Philip to drag the unconscious do, body. Do you do that? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. What are you doing? I'm gonna go inside, hearing all this. Okay. You see him coming out to drag a, uh, the guy that was knocked out. 
I'm gonna look at him confused, still walk in. Okay. He walks in behind you. What are you doing? I'm gonna come up to the door, just post up with Philip. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna post up with Philip. I'm gonna come just, up just behind him. him. Smash cut. You're in a room. It's it's dimly lit by blue light. The door closed, and you heard it lock, but you didn't see anyone. Right. The voice says. I'm not convinced by your proposal. I don't think that you and your slovenly friends are worthy of our time. In fact, I think that you owe us a deep sacrifice. Wouldn't you agree? I said, wouldn't you agree, 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 agree? And you hear, you start to hear the words start to like echo around the room as if, as if like, Multiple voices have now taken up this phrase of like, wouldn't you agree, 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 agree. Make another attune roll. Another attune. Attune to it. Attune to the voice. We are... Don't push yourself that spend. No, I'm going to. Ah. I'm going to. He's four stress. He's fine. Two. That roll, that roll. You start to feel very, very nervous. As if something bad is about to happen. What would you like to do? Taking pretty much what's left of the confidence left of me at this moment, I am going to hold my ground. Well, the ground moves you. <laughs> <laughs> Smash cut. The two so guards stressful. are looking at you, and now you, and you, um, and then you come in with a body, and you. And then I come out from the barrel with two guns drawn, pointed at each of them. Okay. And I'm gonna say... They're looking at like all of you guys now and they're like, I, uh -oh. I just put my hand over his mouth. No. Like, <laughs> me? Yeah, you. No, he's like 15 feet away. Oh. Huh. Darn it. What do he's you say? very long arms. <laughs> what do you say? Let us upstairs. Yeah. Okay. And they back up. I'm gonna point to uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna point, keep the guns pointed at them. Okay. Walk towards the stairs. Okay. And I'm gonna wait for this guy to come. And then they just go. back up on the landing, and they're like waiting there. Okay, good. You, make sure they don't move. You, you come up. You don't command me. <laughs> it's a suggestion then. <laughs> and then has Phil uh, brought in suggestion? the body? Yeah. yeah. I <clears throat> pick him up and I like by the scruff of his neck, and then I just make point a skirmish at, roll. Oh my god. Don't tell me you're gonna bash his skull in. <laughs> oh my god! You're gonna bash his skull in, aren't you? So here's what was going to happen. The guy was coming out of unconsciousness and he was gonna try to elbow you. You see him starting to rouse and you see him like winding back to elbow you. How would you like to knock him out again? <laughs> I'd just like slap him like back of the head. Bad boy. Okay. He goes limp again. <laughs> the two guys up at the top of the stairs are like, like the colors drained from their face. They're like, oh, oh, if they, you don't want this to happen and, to and you. they set down their clubs on the ground uh, of the landing, and they, they just back up against the wall. You will tell us where our other friend went. <laughs> One of you will lead me to him. Damon. Oh, okay. Damon. There's another bouncer up there. There's a one more. Okay, yeah. one more. Then I can deal get, with him. Let me get up. Okay, good. I'm Wait, where's, the, where's the child that was like leading? Me? If you want to go back, the we're going up. Oh, okay. The child. Yeah, like where was he? A child? What child? Yeah, he was still up there. What? Him? The, the, the other, other doorman. The other. Oh, bouncer. the bouncer. Where'd he go? I don't know. I'll f I'll find out. Yes, we'll find. Uh oh. I'm calling you a child. Because as, as soon as I like start walking up, I just yell, "Where's the other bouncer?" <laughs> okay, and then I just grab a hand axe from my waist, and then uh, <clears throat> I just take one of the guards no, by wait. the shoulder, and I tell him to lead me. Okay, the guard's like, oh, okay, please don't kill me. And he, he goes up the top of the stairs, and he reaches in his pocket, and he's dangling around. He's like, oh, uh, nervous, and like pulls his key out, and unlocks the door, and opens it. Where did he go? He he points down the hallway. He's like the, the last last door uh, 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 on on the right on the right. 
Yeah. Do not move. Okay. Who okay. else is going up with Demon? Uh, oh, so yes. 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 Let's all go. Okay. This ghost lady about um, to get... <laughs> so you see that this hallway has eight doors. Two on each, you know, like one on each side going all the way back. Um, and there are sconces like past each door Digital. that look like they're like oil lamps, but they're they're burning and, and instead of giving off a warm kind of golden light, they're like a it's like a cool bluish light. None of the other doors are open. They all look like standard wooden doors with standard wooden door frames. Do you proceed down the hallway? Are there yeah. any markings like signifying like any room number or just any signifiers? No. Not yet. Hmm. I'm gonna open the first door on my left. It's locked. <laughs> Wish or I what? had those lock picks. <laughs> I am <laughs> going to push past him and go down the hallway towards the end, which okay. I assume. Is there a door directly in front of us or are there only doors on the side? Doors on the side, but as you get to the very end of the hallway, the last door on the right is indeed different looking. You see that the wooden door frame is carved very intricately with a series of terrifying faces, like almost like demon faces. And you see on the wall, in a, in a ink color, like somebody just crudely scrawled the letter B. But you don't hear anything past the door. I'm gonna try for the handle. Is it locked? Mm-hmm. Do okay. any of you still have your lockpicks? I yes. have a Dane axe. I do. I have, He's violent and big. I have, I have lockpicks or a C4. You know, we're going to take this place anyways, bust the door down. <laughs> okay, so I like, just come huh? over, take the Dane axe from my back, and then I'm just going to do like a big overhead at the door. Trying a to rack? split. Yes, a Fantastic. Rack. Here's Johnny. I had a better idea, but you know, that would just swing harder. What are we going to do? Six, Blow the door five, open? 651. Yeah. Hmm. Six. I don't like that. You destroy the door. Aww. When you do that, you guys notice that all of the oil lamps in the in the hallway turn bright, like almost like white, and then explode. Pop, 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 like loud firecrackers. And now the hallway is pitch dark. Okay. You are inside the room, the door shatters, and in the 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 frame of the door for just the briefest moment. You see flashing lights, and you see just like, like imagine like a strobe light. Yeah. <laughs> and then you see David with an axe wearing this like weird army jacket. With this big old grin. And the last flash happens, and it's pitch black. And you just hear her voice say, you should not have come here. Who's that? You, <laughs> Damn, that you should now make an attune roll. You guys uh, going down the hallway? Wait, wait, is he like it, still inside of me? What? what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, dark. it's dark. Never mind. Sorry, <laughs> he's what now? <laughs> he what a great line. That's huh? not gonna be cool. You guys are down. Cool. You, you guys are down. Like, so I need to know who went down the hallway. I know you did. Yeah, I, I know you did. I'm going. Okay, did yeah. you all go down? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, so everybody's gone down the hallway. Um, five and four. A five and a four. You hear this voice. You hear you hear this like kind of female disembodied voice that you're not really sure where it's coming from. It's somewhere in the room. It is now pitch black. Like there's no windows. There's no outside light, and there's no more blue lanterns. So does anyone have a lantern? Yeah, I was going to ask the same thing. If you no, added it in your loadout, then you have light. Can I, I flash back? Grab a lantern during prep time. Yes, the mechanic of flashback. Oh yeah, we don't. The very you. valuable mechanic used in this game allows you to um, come up with something that you didn't really think of before. So you're gonna you're gonna pay your stress. Um, I'm gonna say that this is I don't know one stress. How about that? Okay. So, how did this flashback go? Um, while we're all prepping, I'm just thinking to myself, you know what? I'm just gonna take a lantern. And I'm gonna take the lantern. <laughs> just in case it gets dark, 
you know, or like We're they the turn night. the lights out or something like that. You I never think, know. Yeah. What if the store closes? So oh, you wait. reach back into your pack and you pull out this little little oil lantern and you you twist the little thing that that does the um the flint and steel. It's like a little roller of flint and it, it strikes up against the steel and it sparks the oil lamp and, and it comes to light. And all of a sudden a warm golden light kind of emits and you, you're, you're standing there and you see this room that you guys are in. It's a sizable room, like a large room. In the far corner is this fancy four, four poster bed. The wooden posts have like all these intricate kind of patterns on them. This huge table that has intricate patterns with eight chairs around it, bookshelves with all sorts of curios and items and books on them. Do we see Brooks anywhere? Yes, in the center of the room. But what you don't see is a woman whose voice you heard. Um, I just want to uh, point out real quick. We do s now, now that the lantern is lit, we do see his weapons on a uh, little shelf, do we? No, oh, I'm sorry. Retcon that. You saw his weapons on a shelf outside of the top of the um, stairwell. We forgot okay, I, I'm going to take them just because. So you took them, great. Okay. <laughs> okay, you guys are all going into the room? Yes. Or yes. staying in the hallway? I'm going. Go in. I'm, I'm, you went in. Yep. Obviously, you broke down the door. <laughs> you um, have a lamp. Yeah. I'll so go. you have light. I'm going in to specifically give his weapons back to him. Okay, you run in and hand weapons to Brooks, and you, and you see your your cane and your blades and your guns back in the thing. Yeah, your guns aren't there. That's the funny part. What? Okay, cool. Oh, cool. That's awesome. What? Great. What? Oh no. The, guy took my the bouncers. He took my guns. Ah, the, 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 the why did we all go up? There. Don't worry, I have three go, guns. I get the cane sword. Uh, the, <laughs> the cane sword and the blades are there. Awesome. <laughs> I, only care, I don't care about the guns. I, I care about that cane sword. <laughs> well, too bad. I'm giving you one of my guns. Okay. Can Fine. someone please try to back those guards that we left? for whatever reason, by themselves. She says, there's no need to check. None of you will leave this floor alive. Shut up, woman. <laughs> Misogynist. You, you, um, that is pretty impressive. I'm gonna let you choose between a tune or a command. 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 Silence. Command. Silence. Command. Wench. Five. Oh, oh no. The, the voice ceases. And she's, and, and then, and then after a moment, she says, we will see if you truly have earned your name, demon. We'll see. Oh, I forgot to mention, these guys can do curses. No, you mentioned that. We should probably get out of the room. You hear a language that mm, none of you, none of us are ghost people. Are familiar with? He's a ghost. ghost. It's not oh, Akerosian, it's not Scovelin. But is it, is it ghost? Cancer. What? Okay. Cancer. He's speaking ghost. Um, but this, her voice, be, she begins like kind of this incantation in this foreign language. And it, it seems like it's multiple voices now, not just hers, like all around the room. Anybody um, actually trained in a tune? I want a tune. Go ahead and make an a tune roll for me. No. Imagine having a tune. That's a three. three. You are fairly certain that something supernatural is going on, but you're not sure what language they're speaking. But you hear uh -oh. many voices now joining in this incantation. And you just get the sense that there's something supernatural going on. I'm going to point towards the bed. I bet you something special with that. <laughs> She's just hiding underneath the bed. Okay, I'm going to ask each one of you what you're doing before the apocalypse happens. Oh no! So, okay. um, John. So am I in the room or am I just jumping? Did you choose everyone to go in? Everyone was in the room. I did. Yeah. All right. Krapa, get on the right camera. God damn it. <laughs> there we go, John. I want to start looking around if like anything's starting to move or if any like you know mm. weird magical thing is starting to happen. Not that you see. But you hear these voices. I'm gonna step into the hallway and see if the voices are still, you know, yes. throughout the entire, okay. But the hallway, you step out in the hallway and, and the voices definitely seem to be in that room. Okay. But you are now in the hallway. Max. 
Okay, you, you said there's something fishy with the bed. Like, I, I, that's my, as an ex-detective, that is my suspicion that the bed has something to do with like a hidden passageway or something. They always do. All right, I'm I gonna. Can... Go, I'm, I want to study the bed, unless. You want to make your way across the room towards the bed? I will join you yeah, with I'm, the sword forward. I'm gonna have like the spirit bane charm out too, and I'm just like, just in case like the bed's haunted or something. I don't know. Do okay. we all bring spirit bane? Yeah. You pull the spirit Good. bane charm out, and and you sense immediately like it starts to get warm. All right, I'm gonna like follow that warmth. It's hot. Okay. Like okay. like where you almost can't even hold it. The closer cool. you get to the bed, the hotter it becomes. My oh. detective's intuition was correct. Okay. Um, you know what? Here, I'm gonna shoot it with an electroplasm bullet. What the fuck? <laughs> In the what? bed? Unless. Ooh, I think you should save those, but that's Allow a me to re describe the bed. A four poster bed. That means there's four oh. wooden posts and there are curtains around the whole thing, so you can't see what's inside of it. The curtains, as you get closer, seem to have. They're almost like a tapestry where like, they make a picture. And the picture kind of shows like a land that like you've never seen. It's got like trees, and it, it you see like mountains, and you see like this strange thing in the sky. And then you see on like on another picture, it looks like there's like water and like not canal water, but like a nice stream and like some woods. And then you know, so it's like a tapestry on this. And the wooden posts seem to be carved intricately, kind of like the door frame was. OK. So I can like pull back the curtain? Sure. All right, I'm going to gun drawn, kind of stand aside. I'm just going to like pull it back and see what's inside. Make another attune. Oh, boy. Five. OK. You see what looks to be uh, like the corpse of a female. Uh, it looks pretty not recent. Like it's desiccated, like dried out almost, like a mummy would be. Like the skin is very leathery and like pulled back across the, the face. The hair is very, you know, like dainty and stuff. The, the corpse looks like it, it is fully clothed as if it was like buried in this bed. And it's, it's like, you know, laying down with its hands across its chest. Yeah, no, is that the, the spirit charm going off? Yes. OK, cool. Uh, um, one moment. What are you doing? Uh, I'll just follow uh, Flynn okay. to see what he's doing. What are you doing? Uh, so this room, does it have an outlook onto the street? No, there's no windows. It would if you broke open a piece of the wall. Sounds like well, a good idea. I have an idea. I'm No. I just realized what I've done. Go ahead, Philip. So I'm not going to do anything bad yet, but yeah, yeah. I am going to take one of my C4s and plant it on a wall. But I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to plant it. You built it. And then just in an emergency. Did you give a creative name to the C4 yet? Wasn't like, it like C3 and a half? C3 three three and a half. half. Three 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 and and half. half. Yep. Not like boom gel or? No, just C3 and a half. Bang clay. Forbidden jelly. Okay. <laughs> Nope, that's it. For, and that's uh, all I'm going to do. You begin affixing that to, to a wall. In the room or in the hallway? Uh, in the room. OK. Put it on the bed. I'm okay, skipping what? you for a moment. Shannon, okay. what are you doing? Uh, I, well, we seem to have everyone sort of fixated on the bed. What I'm more curious about is the hallway in terms of the guards. So I'm going to okay. keep Remember, it's dark. He's the only light source, so you, you can go out in the hallway. I'm not going to go out in the hallway. I'm okay. going to stand by the door yeah. to the point where there is like some, if there, is there light like spooling out of the door into the hallway slightly, or is there not? No. Uh, from his lantern? From his lantern. I mean, not really. Well, just in general. No. I'm assuming that, okay. Then I'm going to stand a bit away from the door, but uh, with my main focus on the door, but if anything does happen, I will snap okay. and for clarification, uh, gun, knife. OK. And? With the cane sword to the shriveled up thing, I'm just going to take it. I'm going to put the blade across the neck of it and just tilt the head up a little bit. Like that? Um, from, the, from the side here. So like put the holding the blade across here and just mm -hmm. like that. OK. 
it makes a sound kind of like leaves crackling or a stick kind of breaking. It's like. Does anything happen with the voices? No. Okay. The incantation continues. Uh, <clears throat> can I pull like the drape or tapestries like on the bed? Kind of just like pull it. Yes. Off. You rip off one of the sides. Anything happen to the voices? No. <laughs> Destroy the bed. Destroy the bed body. Destroy both. both. We okay. I drop a lot. I, I have try for that. I, I have. You want to get the bed? I have a slight bit of suspicion that the reason why there's no windows might be the same reason why ghosts and vampires don't like sunlight. What if we expose? Some, what if we bring some sun into the room, and that way the incantations could possibly Wait, it's, out it's dark room. outside. What are you Shit. talking about? Uh, <laughs> oh, there's lanterns uh, in the street. Explode the bed. There you go. Fire. Yeah, Fire. I, and, I feel like we, if we burn the body or we destroy the body. Arson is the right answer. In the midst of everything we're cutting out, I just want to like I want to drag the blade across the across like here on it and just cut the skin and see if it. It's it's like cutting through like body? cloth. Or leather. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it kind of like you, you see like the leathery skin kind of cut. Okay. Um through. Mm-hmm. You stab it in the throat? Nothing. Nothing. You're just stabbing a dead body. I'm trying to see if it would change anything. Okay. I we need to I I think we need to destroy the body somehow. Put it away. Alright. Um Can I we, I have an idea to destroy it. I want to. I want to try something where uh, I want to try to make a hole in the wall, where if there were to be any sunlight, uh, it would realize like, it's nighttime. It's night. It's dark. It's well, nighttime. Any light? No. Any light? No. Nighttime light. There's okay. Not even street lights. Let's. No. If we're gonna go that route, let's just do the same thing we did the trash can. I'm gonna take some of that powder out and I'm gonna start like pouring it like on top of the corpse. On the bed. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And around the bed, just all, right. all over. Okay. And then. Right, everyone's you off. hear the like the the incantations, the chanting, like continuing, and it's it's kind of getting like louder and more intense. The curse is coming to an end quickly. Now. All right, yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the uh, the lantern, and I'll just like is it like a? It's not a candle inside, right? I can can I light it with the the lantern? Mm, no. I can't. What if you smash the lantern onto the powder? Yeah. We well, have no light. Well, you could do that. No light. You could do that, and that would exactly. create quite a flame pretty quickly. We're trying to well, make this our new turf, guys. Yeah, so we don't, All right. we don't need the shop, though. We don't we need the shop. We, we would be nice. The land would be nice to have, though. It would be nice. But hire some we can rebuild. workers. <laughs> We're also probably going to do burn have, down do the nearby buildings. That's the clock's ticking. Yeah, the clock is tucked. So yeah, that's the. That's the past tense of ticking. Um, oh. The, the <laughs> last bit of the invocation continues loudly and then suddenly stops. That's dead silent. All right, yeah, now I'll just I'll smash it onto the bed, try to light it. As you go to smash it onto the bed, the corpse moves, it undulates, and something bursts out of the corpse itself. And this creature with four arms, it's made of like black leathery skin. It's sort of like a small, demonic looking, terrifying, black um, oozing creature with like four arms that have claws and huge like mouth with like fangs. No eyes, no eyes whatsoever. And it just starts raking out towards you guys to attack. What do you you do? You do. You're there. You're over by the wall, so you're not yep. there. You're there. You're over by the wall. So you and you three have to tell me what you do, because okay. this thing is coming to attack all four of you. Uh, in a in a motion, I try to grab my hand axe again, and I'll try to like do a under like swipe as okay. it like charges. We'll we'll roll that in a second. What are you doing? A uh, pistol with the electroplasmic bullet. I'm gonna try to shoot it. Okay. What are you doing? I almost kind of want to help you try to get the wall busted open. You sooner. understand what I just told you. You're yeah. going to be attacked. <laughs> yeah. So are you trying to get away from this thing, or are you trying to? I want to go with Lucas and attack it. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Um, with the sword, try to deflect the hand and draw the pistol. Okay. 
So, go ahead and make um, your skirmish roll. Let's push myself. You want a lot of dice, don't you? I do. Oh, I got a single six down. Okay. You effectively cut it. It cuts you as well. I have heavy armor. It claws into your armor. Oh. You whip out your gun and try to shoot it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and make a hunt roll. Go plasmic bullets. That one's a six. six. Double six, six over here, by the way. Double six. So double double six. Sixes? Yeah, two sixes. Oh, snap! As you pull out the gun with the ectoplasmic bullet, you fire. And you hit this thing square in its torso area. And it screeches out in pain. And it blasts, you literally blast it back onto, onto the bed. Ooh. Um, sparing you, giving you enough time to get away and to run over by where Philip's setting up the bomb. All right. What are you doing? Well, taking it with the fact that I probably don't need to deflect any attacks Correct. now. I'm just going to, just go in with the cane sword. I just make a stab. And attack it? Yes. Is there anything special about your cane sword? It is a cane sword, so no. Make a roll. Go ahead and skirmish. Six and a six. two. So six. A six yes. is successful. You cut into its flesh. Um, when your cane sword comes out, it is covered in a black Icarus blood that is unlike anything that you've ever seen. Um, it is now absolutely pitch black. Oh. No, it's because it's actually Wambi. What happened with the motion then. where he was about to smash the bed and then yeah, the did, fire? Did I, I did I, was I able to the break thing yeah, roll the one, fire. Just roll one d6 for me. This is, I'm, I'm going to let this be a Six. <laughs> Six. Son of a bitch. Right. <laughs> um, Joke's on you, Mr. Allen. You actually succeed in, in tossing the lant lantern onto the bed, and it, it shatters, and the powder catches, and this bright flash illuminates the whole room for a brief moment. And in that brief strobe light fashioned, like, millisecond of light, you see eight spectral figures seated around the table in the eight chairs, except they're not physically there. And then there's fire, because the bed is now on fire. So now there's like a warm like bonfire of smoke and fire burning, and the, the little demonish creature is shrieking. And the smoke has nowhere to go. It, it's going up to the ceiling and then making its way around the room yeah, towards all of you guys. Unless we make a massive hole in the wall. So, unless we make a massive hole. Which is why I'm hap wall. helping Philip make a massive hole in the wall. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it a, a a question for you guys. So let's start with you, Lucas. Mm -hmm. You see that that um, this thing is knocked back up against the the end of the four poster bed, mm -hmm. right? And it is now surrounded by flames. It obviously took damage when you cut it, and it also took significant damage when uh, it was shot. So what are you, what are your, your aim? What's your aim? What do you want to do? <clears throat> I want to throw my hatchet at the little demon. Excellent. It's not little. Are you trying to wreck this thing? Yeah. Go ahead and make a wreck roll. It means you're losing your hatchet, yes. right? You're giving it up, but. Three wreck. Right. Six, four, two. Okay. Oh, you whip the hatchet and it buries itself in the demon's flesh and it screeches again. And it's kind of like like one of its arms is, you know, it's got four arms with claws. One of the arms is like just loosely like dangling as, as the ax has severed some major muscles. Okay. Okay, what are you doing? Um, I'm gonna try to back up as much as possible while I'm frantically like reloading another round into the Shh. pistol. Okay, backing up towards the door, reloading. You ran over to help him blow a hole in the wall, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's running over towards you. What happened was they just got attacked by a demon, successfully shot it, stabbed it, <laughs> threw fire at it. It's burning on the bed. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Um, but the, the fire is taking off pretty rapidly because mm -hmm. it was a bed with curtains and wood. So there's a, a growing blaze in the corner of the room and smoke coming up or along the ceiling towards you guys. Okay, what well, do you stuff do? can't get any worse, so I'm gonna blow. I'm gonna blow the hole in the wall. Okay, go ahead and make your roll. What should it be tinker or? I was really hoping we could um, buy the bomb and then 
Like, Tinker is grab, to set up the I explosive, grab, right? Yeah. So would it be wreck? Well, you just let me just put it down. Would it be wreck? Yeah. Do it badly. Come on, you're a demolition man. You should be good at wreck. Yeah. I have one on wreck. What type what of? What do you have for Tinker? Two. Make a Tinker roll. Okay. Because this is not a spontaneous thing. You're actually taking the time to set the charge. Yeah. Okay. Six, oh, six, six and one. Do you know how bad that would have been if it was two ones? Oh, God. <laughs> it would have been. Oh, nice. making a new character, man. Um, <laughs> all right, you're like, this goes there. And you have that little vial of ectoplasm that activates everything, and you're, you kind of have it all set up. And you see him, like, finalizing this thing, and there's, like, a bead of sweat running down his head as you hear the, the crackling of flames and, and the, the, the wood and all the tapestries burning. What do you do? Um, stepping, just stepping back away. Okay, from into the, the hallway? Not into the hallway, just like backing away from it, keeping the cane, flicking some stuff off the cane sword, and just keeping a gun out on it. Okay. What are you doing? Uh. Hmm, does it have eyes? No. <laughs> no. No eyes? Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna shoot it. Go ahead. With my gun. Make a hunt roll. What? Shoot as opposed to... I'm going to shoot with my gun opposed to shooting it with my knife. Uh, that's a four. You succeed. Oh, okay. It, it's, it screeches out again as you hit it, and it's it's kind of just like pinned into the corner and, and just surrounded and consumed by the fire uh, burning on the bed. I'm going to uh, then after that I'm going to yell, Lady, you can give up whenever you like. This is our turf now. And uh, I'm going to holster that gun and did we all take see the figures at the <laughs> Did we see all of it? Did all of us see the figures at the table? Yes. Okay. Then. For one brief, brief flash. For one thirtieth of a second. Okay. Okay. There is no response in any spectral language or I mean, voice. Yeah, I, I figured. Okay, what are you doing collectively? I'm, I'm the room started on fire. I'm yeah. running it to the door. To blow the hole. I'll get the hole. I'm running through the hole. also going to need a way to extinguish like, the fire. Not a main concern. I'm wildly like yeah. throw, hitting there my... There is no light in the hallway. Remember that. Yeah. I'm just going to be uh, like uh, so hitting... So you're going to head down the hall. Yeah. Um, the spirit bane charm, is, does it get anything from the guy sitting at the table? Oh, yeah. All right, cool. Can I like move it towards them? See if it does anything. Sure. Like you wave it around. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, you're you're waving it around by the table and the chairs. It's very hot. It's indicating to you that there's some kind of spirit right. energy. Okay, cool. It doesn't do anything. I'll just I'll I'll shoot the demon again. Another bullet. Okay, roll. Okay. Two twos and a four. Wow. It, scree it screeches again. All right. What are you doing? What more we need to get the bomb going? You just don't want to be near it when he activates it. It's ready. Oh, yeah. So you, you could say, like, it's ready, but yeah. anyone who's within 20 feet of it <laughs> when he when he activates it will be probably dead. Okay, so uh, everyone get wait. to a corner of the room, stand back. We start squatting to like me. I'm already to the doorway. Pass the monster the to the bomb. No, I maybe I could survive with the armor. Okay, I'm going to go around, and I just want to know where you were going. So I'll start with you, Philip, on this side. Uh, 20 feet away, so I don't okay, die. Okay, in the hallway. Yes. Good. Where are you? Following hallway. You go in the hallway. Where are you? Uh, yeah, I guess we're all going to the hallway. 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 <laughs> hallway. <laughs> hallway. Into hallway. Yeah. Okay. You all go out of the room into the hallway. You go about 20 feet down, about halfway down the hallway, and that is when you activate the explosive. Yes. Okay. Make another tinker roll. Uh, push yourself. You messed Wait, up the how much stress do you have? Seven. I have two left. Go for it. Yeah, if he pushes himself uh, and he's uh, taking the trauma. Okay, but like if I then push myself and the explosive does nothing and we find out, oh, there's more wall, oh, uh, then I'm screwed. Well, just, then we just go all the Two is enough. I'll take it. Two tinker. You're fine. Two, six, six and three. Two is enough. You rolled a six. You rolled a six. 
you flip it over, and then you press it one more time. Boom! <laughs> you hear this roar of sound, and you hear the sound of like bricks and, and wood and like just chaos and mayhem. For a moment, all of you guys are like deafened by this explosive sound. You're welcome. Um, and there is, of course, a brief accompanying flash, partially covered because the explosive charge was on a wall inside the room, so you're not completely blinded. But there's like dust, smoke, a wave of heat, a, a colossal, loud, kind of thunderous, explosive sound. Did the explosion uh, put out the fire? All of you, no. <laughs> all, of your, all of your ears are, are ringing. Um, I'm gonna have a, uh, let's see. Lucas, roll a d6 for me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three. Oh. One, two, three. Your ears are ringing. You you hear someone saying something behind you, like not towards the explosion, but behind you guys. I want to take out my palm pistol and blindly I'm just going to fire down the hallway. Go ahead and roll. Roll, hunt, roll. Yep, that's a two. Okay, you get shot. You take two uh, two damage. Ooh. Yes, you. You. Um, you. You feel burning pain hit your shoulder. Uh, and, and you guys all kind of saw this flash from behind you. So as you turn around, um, it's still dark. But you, you saw like, and then, and you, you obviously may make noise if you're in pain, let's say, for example. <laughs> so you hear that. Okay. Okay, well, you're up. <clears throat> that was a very good uh, <laughs> I would like to go where I think the stairs were mm -hmm. originally and uh, just see if the guards are still there by okay. any little chance. I'm going to have you make a wreck roll and, and just your straight wreck. A six. Yeah, yeah of course. Guy. You just start like, <laughs> of course, <laughs> rhinoing down the hall and, and like so you slam into someone blindly. Flintlock one. <laughs> and you're like, Flintlock one. <laughs> And like, you fall on the ground, but when you fall on the ground, you fall on someone who is oh. like, <laughs> uh oh. Um, you guys hear like a. <laughs> I, I just start choking him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Max? Um. Did you, you already know reload another bullet? I. You were yeah. in the process. Yes, I, was I, I believe you fired. I, I fired again, yeah. but I guess I could have reloaded. The you button. could. Um, can I flash back and say that I took another lantern? No. Do you have enough? Uh, do you have enough stress left? I have four slots left. I'll, I'll give you two more stress. <laughs> oh. Better take two. Well, I'm going to ignite that other lantern. Better that take two to is the quote. <laughs> Better take two. Yes, so you're, you're like in, in your guys' den, and you're like, you know what, it, just in case it gets dark, maybe I'll take one of these small little lanterns. They don't they don't have a lot of fuel in them, but like they're more, they're smaller, they're more portable. And then you put it in your pack, and then you're like, camera, take two. camera pads Better to take another two. one, yeah. <laughs> like across the room. Better take two. So you reach into your pack and pull out another one. You spin the flint wheel, and it catches. And, and, and you see in the warm light of your second lantern that Demon has fallen on one of the guards, and they're scuffling on the ground. OK. About, this is about 20 feet. So basically by the door that leads to the stairs out of this place. What about him? Or, I've got a, I he's got, got a bullet. Uh, well, he's bleeding. You can see that like his shoulder is bleeding. And you're assuming that the guard like Shannon shot blindly. Okay, cool. With his gun. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> With one of his guns. One of his then, many, many guns. All right. Um, can I make my way over to him? Yeah. And then using one of the throwing knives, can I like heat it up in the like lantern fire and like cauterize his wound? That wow. is going to take an incredible amount of time. There's okay. a bullet <laughs> inside. What would you wound. like to do? That is true. I don't want to be on there. Pull it out. With the guard. I'm going to run over to them and try and stab the guard. <laughs> Wait, God. make a skirmish. If you roll really? one, you're totally stabbing demon. He boxes. Both are good outcomes. He's fine. Both are no, good what? outcomes. Both are good outcomes. Four. Darn. You stab the guard. He boxes yeah. people. He shanks people. <laughs> That's how the guard runs. Okay, Philip. 
<laughs> uh, I'm going to look inside the... Well, Wait, no, I don't have a lantern. Uh, There's lantern light. Yeah. Be because he, he just sparked up another lantern. <laughs> oh, so I'm going to ask him kindly for his lantern so I can look inside the room. What, can you give me your lantern? Yeah. To see if, you know, we actually did blow a hole in the wall and there's not just more wall? I mean, sure, but like hurry back. Go with it. You're leaving us in darkness. So I look inside the room with the lantern. Okay, you look inside the room. There is indeed a hole in the wall. Wow. It is uh, about six feet tall by about eight feet wide. Oh, Jesus. Um, Doesn't go anywhere. It, it, lo it looks outside. Perfect. Wait. You're looking at the front street. You oh see my God. Way. Hey guys, I know found their way see home. People outside. Oh, they're fine. You see people outside, and amongst the people, you see two or three blue coats. Blue coats. Oh, uh -oh. Uh oh, moving towards the front of the building. Yeah, maybe they don't seem see. to see you looking out of the gaping hole in the building. This what? was a so bad I found our idea. way out, but the problem is Great there's idea. people. Okay. Okay, James. Yeah. What would you like to do? Oh, Maybe we shouldn't have gone after the occult. <laughs> it's funny. It's fine, Mark. It is. I'm just gonna start moving down the hallway, chasing after them. Oh my god. Okay. Like, like down the yes. Well, uh, um, I'm going. The, is the monster still streaking? Yeah. <laughs> well, we should probably deal with that <laughs> sometimes. Sometime in the near future. The before fire's the spread to the adjacent shelves. <sighs> oh. And the ceiling and the walls. Maybe oh. this turf is going to be destroyed by the end, but it's still going to be ours. I'm going to... Well, I need to reload because I've shot both my pistols that I have. So uh, I'm, I guess I'll peek around the corner into the room, reloading my gun. You see him standing in the gaping hole you see outside. Good for you. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> you're scuffling and, and skirmishing with the... I just continue trying to beat up Scrum. the guard. Yep. Six. That's figured. Of course. He's yeah. always rolled a six. I mean, he's got four. Every what? Time. You, you said you choked him? Yeah, I was just he's unconscious. Okay. He's <laughs> bleeding. He's unconscious and bleeding. Yeah. That's number four? He's out. Okay. Yeah, I think so. You uh, see in his, in his right hand is, like, he's out. There's a pistol. It looks kind of familiar. <laughs> <laughs> and then in his left belt, there's another pistol. Seems also familiar. I take it, and then I'm just gonna shoot right in front of me. Oh, okay. What? Go, go ahead. In case there's spin. another, there are there are there two guards. Just to give me one flash. Yeah, wreck. Wreck. Oh. Wreck. Wreck. Oh my god. Six. Five. Six. Uh, <laughs> six <two. laughs> um, you shoot a hole in the rear wall. Oh, light. Did I get? Wait, did Did I see no. anything useful in the split second that there was light? And the gunshot. Uh, just. Another ten feet past you is the door that leads to the stairs. Uh, after you didn't I did see that, anyone there. After I did that, uh, I'm just going to make my way to the stairs. Okay, making your way to the stairs. What are you doing? Uh, get the lantern back from Philip so we can actually see down the hall. Okay, getting the lantern back. You can see in the hallway now. What are you doing? Stairs. Stairs. I'm going to jump out the front. Wait. Uh, Whoa. I know. We know. Hold on. What are you going to do? So I saw that the blue coats are running to the store, right? Yes. Did they enter? No, they're about 50 feet away from the front of the building. I'm going to wait to there see There are other they civilians, though, like on the block. If I yell, would they all hear from outside? Like, the Probably. people? Probably. Hmm. And I assume that you're with me as well, right? Yeah, I'm near. Okay. Ooh, it's a spooky ghost. Don't come in. Uh, I'm going to wait there and see what the blue coats do. Okay. And then... No, that's what I I'm am booking go. it down the hallway. Towards the stairs? Going to go down the stairs. Mm -hmm. And on the way, I'm grabbing the gun. I'm grabbing my gun out of his hand. Okay, so you're running down the hallway. Yes, to go down the stairs. Shannon, you're staying in the room? I'm staying in the room to make sure this idiot doesn't get himself into okay. more trouble than he already has. All right, so you hey, two hey, are hey. the only ones in the room Watch still. Yourself. And the room is on fire. Well, I'm not in the room. I'm around the... In the hallway. In the hallway still, peeking into the room. Okay. You go to the stairs. You open the back door. Uh, you open the, the hallway door that leads to those stairs. You don't see any guards. Okay. You catch up. 
you see he's holding your realms. Just grab it and push by him. Okay, okay. there yeah. is light in the stairwell and the lower level. You guys go down the stairs, you don't see any guards. The back door to the alley is still open. The door back into the store is not open. Are the weapons that they dropped like at the foot of the stairs at the top still there? No. Like their clubs? Yeah. Nope. Looks like they took them with. I bet they're at the foot of the stairs hiding around the corner. I bet they're behind the barrel. Okay, oh, what's it going to be? Uh, I'm going to have my war, my Danax ready, and I'm going to, before I get to the bottom, I'm going to like swing like into the corner. You have of. multiple axes in your loadout? No, th that was a like hand axe, and I'm using a Dane axe, the big like two-handed. Oh, oh, okay, okay. All right. Many, axes. many axes. Yeah. You go yeah, down the stairs axes. and you swing, no one's down there. Okay. <laughs> Murder the air. When you get down to the, to the main level, you still hear those alarm bells going from inside the store. Okay. What are you doing? I'll just follow behind. What are you doing? The, you said the back door's open? Mm-hmm. You should probably go out the back door. Yeah. Yeah. Back door? Back door. Okay. I assume that the, the demon thing is still screeching, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to use one of my two grenades and throw it at the where the sound is coming from. Excellent. Make a rec roll. That's probably a good thing. I hope it blows uh, it above. Blows I am pushing myself just in case. Okay. Careful. How much stress do you have now? Full. Oh. Anything else? It's not a much. So we're getting a two. Oh. Wait, did you count? Oh. No. Boom! It blows out um, part of the wall, not an exterior wall, a wall that separates it to the next bedroom. And that wall is now gone. What happened to the There's plenty of light from this um, burning room now. As the fire is getting closer to you, it's also burning through the shelves and it's going along the rug. How's the demon looking? The demon isn't there anymore. Whatever you exploded, it must have gotten rid of the demon. Yay. Wow, There's it's almost like he exploded <laughs> the core. It's almost like somebody took a, a bucket of liquid, like hot tar, and just like, threw it at a wall. We should ah, have. so it was effective. So it was the corpse that was the answer all along. Who would have known? Who would have known? Uh, uh, okay. okay. You're outside. Or sorry, you're at the bottom of the stairs. Right. You guys are all at the bottom of the stairs. What are you doing? I'm pushing into the store. James, I have an idea. You go to that door, it's locked. <laughs> there goes the entire what if, what if we... This is just a little thing. What if we get some for documents that show like we're the owners of this place and it was booby traps? This is just quickly thinking. I, you, what I was thinking was we go to the blue coats and we make it seem like we were trying to make a trade deal here talking with the owners and we can make it seem like we were just trying to do this and they attacked us, their people attacked us, they summoned demons, some crazy stuff happened and it, with fighting the demon to try, try to protect ourselves to get out, stuff started blowing up and we're just trying to get and out. And we can of further discredit it the... It really difficult. And we can discredit the no ghost lady. Just do it. You also have me. Right. Yeah, just do okay. it. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was trying to do. But okay. I wanted to do that by leaving the front of the store, not running. Yeah. The okay. Back. Then uh, the oh. problem is, who's in the store right now? So fair they're enough, because the guards may right be now. there. Fair. Exactly. But then here's the thing: blue coats are coming up. If there's guards there, we're gonna come through that door. They're gonna swing at us. Further proving our point. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Uh, about the back. Who's going out the back, and who's going with you into the store? Uh, I'm changing my mind, and I'm going to go with him. Yeah, the door's locked. <clears throat> you can handle this. Yeah, <laughs> you got this. Like, we already know what I'm about to do, so... Wreck. <laughs> Five. Mm. One of these times, you're going to throw three sixes. You smash the door open. I mean, okay. statistically speaking, possibly. The shop <clears throat> is empty. You don't see any people in the shop. Okay. The alarm bells are still ringing. Looks like the front door is closed. So, James, do we want to go run towards the front door and let the blue coats in then? Run towards the front door. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Make sure. I will do that. Mm -hmm. I will handle them. Make sure none of them hurt them. Make sure they come out throwing on their best acting of we got attacked. Okay? Okay. So I just go out to the back and I just tell everyone we're making up a story. We got attacked trade deal, whatnot, act surprised, 
and shook. Shook it. I can. I'm really good at that. I, I have mean, a bullet in my arm. I'm pretty uh, hurt too. So <laughs> I have a bad idea for what I want to do next. But continue. So, on. Philip. No. Not there. Not there. Okay. So you guys are going along with this. Sure. You want. You want to be like holding me because I'm really wounded. Like just look, really play it no, up. No, he's going to the front door. I'll, I'm I going. Can, you guys should get out. You want to get out? All right. I'm putting the cane sword in it and fake limping out. Okay. You go to the front door. Yes. You open it. You see three blue coats talking with two bouncers. Yeah. As you open the door, one of the bouncers turns and says, That's one of them. I close the door and take off to the back. (laughs) It's almost like we should have accounted for the bouncer. You begin running through the store to get out. You hear someone trying to fiddle with the door, right? And can't get it open. You guys go out the back. You're in the back. Alley? Yeah. yeah. Okay, where are you, are you going? Is the fire in the trash can still going? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's burned out. Oh. My plan is over. What is there, is there a, the is all John, <laughs> I correct myself. Roll a, let's roll a fortune roll on this. Roll a d6. If, if you all roll right. a six, I'll say that it's still going and, and going very well. All right. If you roll a success, there's some embers, but you would have to add something to fuel the fire. All right. Six, 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 six. Four. Okay. So there are still some embers, but you'd have to add something to it to really make it into a, a flaming, you know, a blazing inferno. That, that crate of clothes they couldn't repair. Yes. <laughs> okay. You, you, what do you do with it? We're going to add that to the fire to make it very strong. Yes. We're going to let all of you guys run out and then we're gonna throw that fire in the doorway so they can't follow us. Okay. You're burning down the back of the store. Yeah. So you bring the, the, the embers in and you start feeding the fire. You come Whatever. through the door. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You see him with a burn barrel, basically, <laughs> feeding burn shoes and clothes into the burn barrel <laughs> and like going like, <sighs> like blowing on it. What are you two guys doing? I'm just looking in dismay, and then I'm just going to start walking like the opposite way where the guard was limping away. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Down the alley. Yeah, the opposite alley. Are you, are you like leaving, basically? Yeah, I'll just okay. wait for one person. Just Smash cut back, back to the top. The leaving. entire room is on fire. If leaving. you stay, you're going to burn. Leaving. Now. What Come are you on. doing? I'm baby. I'm babysitter. Come on, let's go. Oh, <laughs> wait, did it? I, wait. A grenade. I got to think this out. <laughs> did I blow a hole through the other wall? You blew a hole yes, into another that's room. that's where the raging inferno is. <sighs> it's now carrying Dang into it. that room. Yeah, I was planning to like jump through it, but that's not gonna work. You threw a grenade How into tall the fire. is this building? How how far am I from the ground? You're fifteen feet. Is there a way to somewhat like climb down? Through the hole that you blew? The hole is in the front of the building. Just like, you you could see down. And you, you see that there's like a kerfluffle going on and you hear like blue coats yelling like, open it up, I'm trying. And like you, you see like a couple of the, the gray shirted employees like fumbling with keys and you see more and more like onlookers. Okay, I'm going to. And then you hear someone say, there's someone up there. There's someone trapped. It looks like there's a fire. Smoke's pouring out the hole past you over your shoulder. All right, basically this is a bad idea. I'm gonna drop a grenade and run out the back. You're, you're dropping a grenade where? Don't anyone say anything, because, I'm sorry, you were there, but hold on. So you're gonna drop a grenade out the front? No, just somewhat near the corpse where I assume it is. Oh, in into the flames? Yes. Oh, okay. again. Okay. I thought you would do something yeah. else. I think Fuck, that's what we all saw. That's a five. I think okay. we all thought the same thing. <laughs> you hear something yes. else structural happen. I am going to start booking it and grabbing him on the way. Okay. As in, like, tugging him. You guys are running down the hall. Grabbing him. I'm grabbing him. You run down the hallway. No, I'm grabbing the you. stairs. You guys yes. are gracefully yes. embracing You go down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> when you get to the bottom of the stairs, you see fire going up the wall, and there's a, now two barrels, like a, a, a rubbish bin, and then that big barrel full of like reject clothes and shoes 
burning and the walls are burning and it's smoke and and you're successfully burning the back of the building. <laughs> uh, okay. They can't chase um, us through fire. So is the whole doorway burning? Or is it like can the we floor still leave? You can still leave. Okay. I'm gonna, you know, grab my hat to make sure it doesn't get burned and I'm just gonna James. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna follow him and leave as well. I probably would just like bust through that door at this point. And just there is no door anymore. He oh, destroyed cool. it. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> just just no running door. back through. They got you the one past the fire. Yeah. They and just, they got to the words them. first. We gotta go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, let's go. What? Scatter. <laughs> Starting a fire. Scatter! Okay. Get to the safe house. Go. Okay. So you guys scatter. You leave out the back, you run down alleys, kind of weaving and ducking your way to get out of Night Market, and you get off of that, out of that district, and begin kind of crossing back over to your own district, which is Coleridge. Did anyone see us? The two guys. Maybe. Are you asking me if there are entanglements? Because the answer is yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, guys all right, you know what? It's so fine. We'll figure it out. Rules. Oh no. But um, in terms of ending this score, um, this score ends with you guys evading. Now, were you successful in acquiring the turf? Oh, no. Nope. The answer is no. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> Oops. The turf, no one can have do, it now. Do you now have negative rep? Yeah, probably. Yes. A few. Perhaps. Or more. Most likely. Um, you, you do. You have you now have uh, negative rep with the not only the leaving ladies but the the blue cones. Yes. So you other. you have now one minus one, one rep with the blue coats. I already, I already had one minus one, so minus two. If you had minus one already, you are now at minus two. Um, and you have minus two rep. And you now have minus two rep with the weeping lady. It was going so well. Uh, and I, then I now in this swivel. game, after uh, after uh, a heist, after a score, whether it's successful or not, we go into what is called downtime. So um, I I will tell you that because this did not succeed, you did not acquire a new turf. Consequently, also, there is no successful payoff in coin. Right. Mm -hmm. At least we didn't use any coin. But the upside is, I'm going to ask each one of you, did you use any of your special abilities successfully? If only if successfully. I was Successfully. Yes. Which special ability? Tinker. No, no way. No, 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 special Oh, abilities. special, uh, I didn't run out of light. Yeah, I didn't. Mine's only a downtime. Did that count as me doing it? I did it. Is it ghost form? Yeah. yeah, you added the other yeah. route, whatever it is. You did. Yeah. So Technically, you, yeah. you will mark off an XP. Now, <clears throat> looking through your action ratings, uh -oh. if you successfully used an action, mm -hmm. you may mark off an experience. Okay. Because you guys entered this entire engagement <laughs> um, under very, very circumspect uh, um, levels of fortune. So you, you're, uh, you, did, you did not have a very solid role for your engagement role. You started in a desperate position. Oh. oh um, no. Which is why this, this heist was a little bit harder, right. to be quite honest. Um, so if you successfully used a given uh, action rating, then you can mark off an experience. So even when you failed, you, you don't completely fail. Yeah, you still gain experience. Yes. Um, you're going to add four heat to the crew sheet. Oh, we are, oh yeah, that's a wanted level. Is it? No, wait, no, it's not. We're one under. We're one under, under wanted. OK, so <clears throat> we need to in have. case you were wondering where that comes from, the description for four heat I would think is very accurate for how this heist went. Yep. Loud and chaotic. Yep. High exposure. Don't look at me. 
Yeah. I mean, exactly. You, it's your fault. Um, to be no, fair, it's to be fair I, did I did just show my face to two wardens. Okay, it's not my fault that I burned down the entire but building. But you didn't blow up the Why did, my, my thing is, did, why did, did we all go up? So, and what's your total heat you get right now? It was I was burning. Going up Seven out of eight, I believe. What's the... Okay. One, two, Roll three, me a D6, four, five, six, James. Seven. D6. As the, um, James. as the, the, the figurehead leader of the Blackstones. Five. five. Ooh. That makes sense, actually. Uh oh. Uh oh. You guys make it back to your, your hideout. And by the way, describe for our audience, uh, I'm going to go to the right. <laughs> Max, describe for our audience. What uh, so, what is your hideout? Um, Where is your hideout? Well, when we when we first came to Duskfall, we didn't really have a lot of options, not knowing the city, and we we ended up finding a small spot above a old deli shop run <laughs> by a guy named Gary <laughs> that we've been just periodically paying rent to to use this like upper storage area. Yeah. So basically, Gary's Deli is. He, like he, he has like an apartment above Gary's Deli <laughs> that he like loans out to you guys, and that kind of became your your hideout. No, I'll never suspect that. Um, so when you guys get back, <laughs> you're you're obviously you have some injuries to deal with, some some stress that you're gonna need to you know indulge your vices for. We'll get to that in a second. Um, you get back, and you're kind of sitting and resting and sweating. And uh, one of the chairs that you're not sitting in suddenly stands up and becomes a person made out of chair. What? Oh! It's wooden. And it says, don't bother with your weapons. You I'll can't hurt me. I'll throw my amulet at it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I throw my amulet at the chair. Ooh, wreck. What? Oh my god. <laughs> no. Ooh, it just goes no. bonk. One, four. <sighs> Not a six it's like, this time. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, demon. Oh well. Um so you've made a mistake. Don't worry, it's not the end. But I do have an important offer for you. You see <clears throat> some people who have done me numerous favors in the past have been put out by your recent attack this evening. So in a matter of speaking, I need to make them whole. I need to make things right. Which means you need to make things right for me. Now, I will not tell you my actual name. So you will call me Mr. Chair. Yes, etch it down into your flesh or whatever ways that you can to remember this name that I'm giving you. That there's no other nice name, it's just Mr. Chair. Well, of course, there's my actual demon name, but if you knew that, you would wield power over me. So you will call me Mr. Chair. Now, as reparations for your foolishness tonight, you will do several things. Number one, each one of you will tithe a coin. I will tell you where to bring this coin, and it will sufficiently reimburse these parties who have done me favors. I have a question. Do you remember <laughs> the canal intersection where you ambushed the wash bucklers? Yeah. So do I. Oh. You may remember that there was an upper and a lower level. The upper level is where Ogre jumped onto the boat. Below the point where he jumped is a post that people use to tie up their canal boats. Next to that post is a rubbish bin. You will each deposit one coin at the bottom of that rubbish bin tomorrow night at precisely midnight. Do not linger and wait to see who picks it up. Do not interfere with the person who picks it up. Do you all understand this? Part two, each one of you will owe me a favor. I am putting you on notice. This will be a small favor, but it will be a favor that when asked, you will do it. Can you give us an example? I will never ask you to kill someone. That would be a tremendous favor. This is but a small boon. 
perhaps acquire something for me. A theft or a burglary. Or beat someone up but don't kill them. Or destroy something that I need destroyed. This is a moderate, moderate task. Do you accept these terms? What if we do refuse? Ah, oh my God. that is an excellent question. I'm remarkably su surprised that you, demon, are the one asking that. But perhaps there is a glimpse of wisdom inside of your thick Scovelin brain. <laughs> if you refuse, I will curse each and every one of you and your end will be much like the shriveled corpse that you saw in the bed. Because growing within each one of you is a small tendril of my power. Right now. Right now it's inside of you. It is dormant. It will not grow unless I feed it power. But if you refuse my offer, I will feed it power. It will grow inside of you and eat your insides until you die. And then it will hatch just like one did tonight. Do you all understand the ultimatum I've given you? Yes, it's understood, mm -hmm. Mr. Chair. Produce your hands, slice yourself, and bleed onto that wooden table up there. That's a brand new wooden table. <laughs> <laughs> it off. This will seal our pact. I like the floor, like specifically the table. Yeah. The chair sits back down and turns into a chair. Something we got to uh, just a question. moment later, the table stands up. And on the wooden table, you know how like table has like, like, like exposed wood, you could see like the grain? Mm -hmm. The yeah. grain begins to move and animate and it becomes like a written contract. You don't know what the words mean because it's not in a language that any of you are literate in. But at the bottom, you see like it creates this little box. So the table says, to come to life. <laughs> seal this contract this? with your blood. No. Okay, you do it? Yep. You? I do it. You? You? Yes. You? I wait a moment. Okay, you? Just a moment. Reluctant, but yes. Okay. You're waiting. Let me see your character sheet real quick. Whoa. Yeah, can I have a look at that back really quick? I can't read it, dude. Okay, but like, what if I find a lawyer that does? Demon lawyer. Demon lawyer, demon lawyer. There's a reason he went to hell. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's, that's true. true. Demon demon lawyer. Lawyer. The fate of most lawyers. Oh, no. <laughs> most prosecution Do you hesitate lawyers. because you are trying to outthink me, Brooks Colombo? I always welcome a challenge, but you're not that good yet. Okay, fair. <laughs> Our contract is sealed. Remember, tomorrow night, midnight, one coin each in the rubbish bin at the lower level underneath where Demon jumped. The table turns back into a table. The contract disappears as the grain returns to normal wood grain. And each of you have now satisfied a major entanglement. Congratulations. Yeah. Whoa. You, you have made a pact oh. with a demon. Nice. Hey, I need yeah, a, I need a we borrow. We need... know as Mr. Chair for right now. <laughs> yes. Uh, I need to borrow a coin from someone. No. Yeah, Mr. Chair. Good Love that man. Okay, so I will now in a non-linear, non-narrative, non-initiative way, um, in downtime, each one of you um, are going to have the opportunity to satisfy whatever vice urges you need to reduce stress, et cetera, et cetera. We'll go into downtime in our next session. So um, thank you for watching. Hopefully this was interesting, informative, or otherwise entertaining um, <laughs> on this episode of The Blackstones. <laughs> Played with the game system Blades in the Dark. Um, yeah, I feel, guys, I feel like we're, every time we play, we're just getting a little bit better.
But at the same time, people, if you know this game better than I do, I have no uh, like like qualms with reading comments. So comment and let me know what I royally fucked up. Um, <laughs> or if you think I did a good job, let me know that too, because I have an ego that needs to be fed. That's why I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> so um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Maybe we'll do this again, and then you guys will learn what downtime is. So wow. yeah, yeah, good times. All right, peace out. Bye. <laughs>